<laughs> all the messages kind of popped up all at once. Uh, hello. Everybody. Doesn't matter who's first, I guess, as long as you, you show up, you know? Anyway. <clears throat> Today is Saturday. Um... April? April 13th, 2024. It's been a while since I last streamed because I was sick last week, so... Now I'm going to stream, though. I'm going to play this game. Forest of Drizzling Rain. It's been on my backlog for, like, a while. You know, apparently the original game was pretty good. It was like a, you know, a classic horror RPG maker game. But this is the remake, actually. I never played the original. But, um, I want to try out this game, you know? See what it's like. <clears throat> and hopefully... Uh... I mean, the only thing lingering from last week is just like a bit of a cough. So hopefully I don't cough too much. Also, there's like construction still? I don't know. Why is there construction on the weekend? I, mean, I hear some hammering upstairs. Why oh, not upstairs? Is that? Oh, I live in an apartment, so I don't know. You consider... I guess so, like the floor up to be upstairs, even though you don't really go directly upstairs. When I think upstairs, I think of like within my own home, I guess. I don't know, anyway. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I was also experimenting on Twitter as well. Like, like I don't know if this is a rumor or not, but apparently if you uh, put links in your Twitter posts or whatever, algorithm or whatever it is, it's less likely to pick it up. Not that it matters too much, I guess, but I don't know. I guess a small experiment, just put the links in the reply instead of directly in the post. I don't know if that makes any kind of difference, but I just noticed like other people have been doing that. So I don't know. I just do what they do, I guess. Uh, but yeah, also I've noticed, hmm. Is Restream not working? That's strange. You know, I, I usually have this thing where I, even though you're not supposed to, <laughs> but where I like merge the chats a little bit. It's not doing that for some reason. Hmm. At least I think it's supposed to do that. Like each chat is supposed to be restreaming. No, I think it's working. I mean, it's working on YouTube, I guess. It's not doing it on Twitch for some reason. That's so strange. But I stream, if you didn't know, I stream both on YouTube and Twitch. I mean, I've tried experimenting, you know, ever since they allow that. I have a thing where like, it, it kind of like, Sends messages from both chats, you know? That's what it says. Um... But yeah. Got back from watching a horror show? Hmm, not sure which horror show. Someone on Twitch? Well, at least there's, there's at least one person. You know, I I, I... I like to stream on both platforms, just... In case, you know? It's like... Casting the widest net. As, as much as possible. Is the idea. In case anyone shows up on Twitch as well. Um, I wonder if I could fix that. Is there like a thing could do from here? I'm not sure. So I use something called Restream, but... Not like a, in, it's not like a built-in app or anything. It's just like from their website, really. Hmm. Settings... Um, I don't know. I don't know if a way, way to fix that. <clears throat> Restream. Obviously, I don't know if I want to be fixing it now. You know, for some, for whatever reason, when you're, you're on a time limit, I guess. It's always harder to figure out what you're supposed to do. Compared to, like, just doing it off screen. Have more unlimited time. Hmm. I don't know. I swear there was like settings. There was like settings to change the bot settings. But they're not showing up. Can't seem to find it. Streaming setup. That's just for your stream key. Email settings. That's not the settings I'm looking for. I'm looking for a different kind of settings. But I can't seem to find it. Um. 
No, that just goes back there. Hello, and welcome to. Yeah, that's what I usually say in the intro. Hmm. Go back to the dashboard. Stream settings. Primary stream, backup stream, poll links. Where's the bot settings? It's gone. Well, whatever happened to it? Can I just not change those settings during the stream? That's crazy. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I, I guess I give up. <laughs> it's supposed to, I've noticed, like on, on, on YouTube, it, it is showing. It is, you see, restream bot? That is showing. But on Twitch, it's not showing that. It's not re-streaming re the chat from YouTube to Twitch. Twitch to YouTube, but not YouTube to Twitch for some reason. It's very strange. I don't get it. Anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I was worried about whether or not it was allowed. Uh, it's, it's allowed to... You're allowed to um, simulcast. You know, you're allowed to stream on both platforms. You're just not allowed to, like, merge chat, apparently. There's, like, a, like a policy that they made on Twitch, anyway. About how, like, oh, certain, there are certain rules, you know, you can, like, merge chats. That's one of the rules I remember. There's probably a few other rules, but, you know, that's the guideline. You're not supposed to, like, make it so chat is the same, but, like, that makes, doesn't make sense to me, you know? So I do it anyway. I shouldn't call it merging chat, because then that's literally what you're not supposed to do. In my mind, it's more so, like... Uh, showing both chats at the same time, not necessarily merging them, but showing that, you know, they are from different platforms, because if you notice on the top left, it does show you if you're on different platforms. So I don't consider it merging chat, you know, so that it's indistinguishable. It's more so you're just showing both chats at the same time, which is, you know, it's a big ways what that means. It could also mean merging chat, but like, in my interpretation, it's still separate, <laughs> you know, if that makes sense. Like, it's still showing that you're from a different platform, so... I think what Twitch is trying to avoid is, like, muddling the competition, where, like, they, they're supposed to be competing with YouTube, right? They're not, it's not supposed to be the same platform. But, I mean, who, I, I... I find that plan kind of rare. Like, how? why would anyone, like, pretend to stream on Twitch, but then... Well, like, stream on Twitch, but then pretend to be, it's, like, it's not Twitch. Like, that's just weird. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway. Um... Yeah, you can see the comments on YouTube. Oh, really? Hmm, I don't. Well, now I do. That's strange. It wasn't doing it before. Anyway, whatever. Uh, but let's see. All right, but let's play. Let's play this game again. This game I've been meaning to play for a while. I have a lot of games on backlog. The only reason I didn't play this game sooner. Uh, I mean, for one, I was busy at Baldur's Gate. I still kind of am, because I still need to edit a whole bunch. Um, that's why I'm so behind on, like, the actual videos, by the way. Because there's live streams, obviously, but there's also videos I try to edit down. And that's, like, very... I'm very behind on that. Still, like, months behind. <laughs> some more construction sounds. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, what am I trying to say? I'm getting distracted from the construction sounds. Uh... Behind the videos. Oh yeah, and I'm oh yeah, this game was on backlog for a while. I have a whole bunch of games on backlog. I haven't played it for a while because um uh, you know Bowls Gate 3, but also like uh it's not super long, but it might take a couple of streams to finish, you know. And, and I'm all, like recently I'm trying to avoid like longer games because of like you know Bowls Gate. It just takes so much time to like finish just complete the series. Not just playing it, right? You also need to edit it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna play this because I wasn't. There's was nothing else I wanted to play. I'm just gonna play like an RPG maker horror game. It's just, it's just something I default to, I guess. All right. Hmm. I don't usually uh, put the date in the intro, though. By the way. Uh, 2017. Um. You mean when the game came out, or... Maybe. What was the original game came out? Because uh, this game came out... Uh, 2022, actually. Two years ago. I've been putting it off for two years. Since the game came I bought it when the game came out. I just never played it. The original date... For the original game was 2013. That's what it says. For the Japanese version. Um... Maybe a translation came out later? I'm not sure. 
Oh, you're joking. Oh, okay. Well, it's hard to... And that's the, the problem with jokes through text. It's hard, it's hard to tell. That's why you gotta put like a emo. You know, usually you put like a kappa or something. I don't know. You gotta put emojis in emotes. Otherwise, I don't understand the tone that was delivered. Anyway. Alright, but let's uh, begin. Yeah, I'll do the little, the little intro. I always do a little intro because I gotta, you know, eventually put this in like a, its own little video series. Probably be in multiple parts. I'm trying to make it, I don't know. I really gotta like, not just be, not doing the whole let's play thing. And gotta like, I don't know. Do more editing, basically, you know, try not to like, but that's the hard part of like story games. Do you want to like, you want to show everything in the story game, right? I don't know. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> Reminds you of the story of Edith Finch. Is that, is that a game? Edith Finch. It's like an old game, right? What Remains of Edith Finch? Well, to be honest, all I remember about that game is, uh, you know, rest in peace, but, you know, Total Biscuits review of it and he didn't like it as far as i remember was it total biscuit or somebody else i don't know he was complaining about a similar story game or maybe it was it was maybe a different game i don't know some kind of first person like walking simulator basically which i don't mind but i much prefer like an anime style though like if it's going to be like a story game i prefer an anime style i don't know if it's not an anime style i'm less interested <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse, my throat is still. <clears throat> so, I don't know what we call it. Uh, it's only a clear my throat, I guess. It's not. I would say scratchy. It's not scratchy. It's just you know, congested. I guess is the word. Oh, oh my nose a little bit. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'll do the intro. How do I do the intro? I'll be like, what's the developer's name? It's Makoto Sanada. Makoto Sanada. Um, alright. Mm -mm. Hello and welcome to The Forest of Drizzling Rain, an RPG Maker horror game developed by Makoto Sanada, available on Steam. This is the remake, actually, of the original version of the game. I never actually played it myself, but, you know, why not check it out now since, you know, there's a like a whole new like shiny steam version that apparently has uh more content you know compared to the original game as well so you might as well play this version so let's check it out apparently you go you, you know you go explore some kind of village and well something happens i guess i don't know what uh you know but i guess we'll see a little bit of content warning this game is tagged as horror so there may be some disturbing content the discretion is advised. Rain begins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chapter one. On the day I heard my parents had died, it was raining terribly hard. A traffic accident, I was told. Once I heard the voicemail, I rushed to the hospital. But it was too late. I wasn't even able to see my parents' final moments. A small service was held in the pouring rain with just me and the funeral parlor staff. That's how my parents said they wanted it. My parents had cut ties with the rest of our family, so there was nobody else to invite. The only sound was the battering rain. I stood there alone in the empty funeral home, overcome by an indescribable loneliness. It was like a black hole had formed at my feet, waiting to swallow me up. The day my parents died also happened to be my birthday. What a coincidence. I'm sure we would have celebrated my acceptance into university on the same day, too. They were probably even more excited about it than I was. Actually, I'm very certain, judging by the present, that I was in their wrecked car. Judging by the present? Like the... Like the present as in like an... 
a gift, I'm assuming. Hmm. Anyway. It got dark fast? Well, you know, it's a it's a RPG make a horror game, so what do you expect? Hmm? Oh, I fell asleep. I can't stay like this. I need to get a hold of myself. Okay, I'll do some cleaning. Hmm. Apparently, the character... You know, I mentioned university, I guess. So they've already... Uh, university aged. I get. I don't know. It's just something... Uh, uh, I was thinking, because the character looks a lot younger, though, actually, on the, on the cover. In the, in the store, so... Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't know what that means. An antique clock that's a little out of place. The pendulum is set with a dull looking stone. It's already midnight. I've been dragging my feet for too long. Okay. How do I... There's two. How do I... What's the magnifying? Because I'm, I'm trying to look at the other magnifying glass, I guess. Oh, this. Okay. Accident report. You just pick it up, I guess. Can I look at it? I can save. Nothing in my items. Aquapedia? Nothing. Hmm. I guess we'll look at it later. The residential, uh, the residential streets are empty this late at night. Hmm. Cremation authorization form. Hmm. I mean, she's wearing dark clothes. Is this like right after the funeral? Quasi final income tax return. Mm -hmm. A file full of life insurance forms. Just a little more cleaning for today. How much of a now just how much of a pale do we get? It looks like a photo album, but it's locked and I can't open it. I've never seen an album like this before. I'll just leave it here, but I'm a little curious. So it's interesting that the interaction points, you know. I guess the magnifying glasses show you where you can interact. It's a little confusing sometimes though, because it's not showing sure in which direction. I guess it's just meant to be like a hint. It's full of books that mom and dad liked. I see. Mm -mm. I guess to look at. I guess it's just this. Inheritance tax declaration. Oh. I should take the funeral clothes I borrowed from mom to the cleaners. Alright. I'll put this in the bookshelf. A small key falls out, out of the gap in the bookshelf. What's this key for? And why is it here? It's almost like it was hidden here. Where does it go? Hmm. I mean, I guess we leave, right? Could this key be for... Oh, okay. Can't, can't actually leave. Uh... Where on? Use it. Use it here? No? Oh, oh. Locked photo album. Open it. Don't open it. Think about it. <laughs> the... Why is there three options? I'm not sure what that means. How about we think about it? What should I do? Looking at it now might be hard. Let me take a deep breath. Ah, okay. Take, you know, I've taken a deep breath. Okay, fine. Let's open it. Opening it now might be hard on me. No. Do it. Do it now.
It's full of old photos. Wow, mom and dad look so young. Huh? There's a blank page. It looks like part of the album is missing. The photos from when I was young have been taken out. Let me check the other pages. What time is it? Huh? The clock isn't ticking. Oh no, we have reached the... The dark hour. The clock has stopped. I thought I could fix it. I'm not good with delicate machinery. I'll have to take it to get repaired. I'm feeling tired. I'll just lock up and go to sleep. No, nothing bad will happen, you know, it's just more about it. It's just the clock is broken. Yeah, the first thing I think of is like the time has stopped. Tokyo Tomore. Uh, but no. Supposedly, the, it's simply the clock is just broken. What's this room? Is this, I mean, is this her room, I guess? Maybe? I'm not sure. It's a basketball and trophy from when I was on the team in high school. Okay, well, yeah. I was wondering, why do you have a basketball, basketball and basketball hoop in your room? I mean, it seems like something, uh, I don't know, like a little boy would like. But you're like a grown-ass adult at this point. I don't know. Oops, I mean, I was trying to look this way. So the, the magnifying glass sometimes hard to tell what I'm supposed to be interacting with. Uh, some university notes and textbooks as well as some makeup have been left out. Cloudy and not a single star is visible. Even the sky is going to shed tears tonight. Oh, I haven't locked up yet, yes. I want to look around first, though. The night light is glowing softly. Stuffed toy that I got as a birthday present. It's very long. Also, hopefully I captured the game properly. When you do, like, a normal... I guess window capture in OBS Studio. It also captures the uh, title bar, if that makes sense. You know the thing that you drag around to move the window? Hopefully, because I cut that part up, we have to do it manually, so it looks sometimes it's like not cut off properly. Huh? And there's a bunch of skincare products, but I don't have the motivation to use them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, okay, that's it. I mean, it looks nice, by the way. Obviously, work has been done to make the graphics look a little, um, you know, more unique, a little bit more modern for like an RPG Maker game, anyway. Which is nice. Mom's hat and Dad's jacket are still in the coat hanger, like always. Yeah, so they just died. They just died. <laughs> they, they literally just died. Or maybe not just, not literally, but like, um, you know, the funeral, you know, this just, just happened. Flowers are wilting, should replace them soon. Shoe box is filled up all our shoes. Well, you're going to start selling shoes because who else is going to use them? Lock shut. Okay. Well, let's go around some more. Hmm. Over here. All right, I should clean this up tomorrow. Right, it was at the same time as their birthday party. Tragic. Ooh, what console is this one? Looks like a PlayStation. The food has been arranged nicely, but it's all gone bad already. All my favorite dishes. A birthday cake was already gone bad. Imagine the, the stench. <laughs> like, again, it's like there there has been some time taken in between. Well, I'm I'm just looking at it objectively, but like it's like time taken between them dying and like having the funeral. 
So I don't know. I don't know how long it has it's been exactly, but at least a few days. Three colors of dishes neatly stacked together. Inspire food needs to be thrown out soon. Up shut. Someone it looks like someone was just cooking. It's like the time in the house stopped. Hmm. I mean, yeah, just, just kind of... It's kind of tragic. Face in the mirror looks a little tired. Full of dirty clothes. So many, so many things you gotta do to, you know, like not on top of your parents freaking dying. You, you, you have to, like, live. There are towels and other daily essentials on the shelf. The pink and blue bath towels are gifts I gave to my parents. I was wondering, like, well, I don't know. I guess the way I interpret it is that she was on her way to university. So does she have her own? Like, does she already have a, her own place already? I'm not sure. Not sure if she was already still living with her parents, you know, before going to university. I see myself in the mirror. Mom's funeral clothes look a little too big. Lock shut. Oh, locked up. Time for bed then. Locked? Wait, you locked the. No, that's strange to me. No, no, no. I was going to say you locked the garbage can? No, you uh, locked the window, I guess. I didn't see the window. Because, yeah, you locked the windows, apparently. That's a. That's a very foreign concept to me, to be honest. I mean, I guess I've never lived in like a proper, you know, traditional house that you always see on TV shows. <laughs> I always live in like some some kind of apartment, but I've never I never unlocked my windows in the first place. So you like lock your windows? So like there's a lock on the window to lock. I mean, usually you're. I mean, if you're in an apartment, you're living in the building. You don't need to because no one's gonna like climb you know multiple floors to get to your window. That's just insane. A lister ninja, I guess. Um. Plot twist is it's not spooky, it's just sad. Maybe. But I heard I do I have heard the the game is a bit of a slow burn. And because of the extra content, you know, they added like well I don't know, I guess we'll see, but like apparently I've heard of what I've read anyway, from what little I read, is that they added some you know, uh how do you say Animal Crossing slash uh Harvest Moon slash Stardew Valley mechanics, it seems like. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Let's go to bed. I'll just go to sleep. I was suddenly all alone. Looking at that album made it feel even more real. I couldn't remember what was on the blank pages. My memories of my childhood have always been mysteriously hazy. I don't know everything about myself, and I can't ask my parents since they're gone. I wish that someone could have come to my parents' funeral at least. Is there, what, there's no one at all? You, you would think there would at least be unnamed, you know, ambiguous relative NPCs in the background. Or something, you know, uh, uh, specifically in a lot of RPG Maker Horror games, for some reason, um, where they make, uh, they whisper, you know, bad rumors about the dead person or something or like they gossip about like the children left behind or whatever which by it's often a, is a it's a it is a frequent trope i feel like in rpg make horror games that your parents die and then it's left like a kid or something i don't know i just think about all the games i play it's like it happens a lot anyway um i think i want to find out more about my roots but there is no longer anyone in this world who really knows me. And that fact is very isolating. Why can't I remember? Why? 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 Naze. Is it Naze? I think in Japanese, Naze.
Come now. Come over here. My sweet, sweet child. Come, child. Come fulfill your promise. The promise that you broke in two shall be repaid with time and loss. But for now, when the right time comes, come now, my sweet, sweet child, and give me all you have. You can never escape. Never. Not ever. Cool, like, 3D glasses effect. You gotta wear your 3D glasses. The text looks, you know, correct? No. The clock is chiming. Ding dong. Oh, it looks like it's suddenly working. The clock that was stopped earlier is now chiming non-stop. Why? I need to stop the noise. Just punch it. Huh? What? I managed to stop it, but I think I broke it. Now it's too rough, and now the stone of the clock fell off. Huh? It looks like something else fell out of the pendulum along with the stone. What is it? Next to the stone that fell out is what looks like a photo. Why is it here? The picture is of my parents, my younger self, and an unfamiliar elderly man. There's something small written on the back. It looks like mom's handwriting. Oh. XXXX. 19 something something. Prefecture something city. Azakawa Village. Kenji's father. Kenji, me, and Shiori. There's something else written down, but it's smudged and illegible. Mom, Dad, and me. Then, is the other person this photo my grandfather? After that, I only got busier and busier. Official papers to turn in, assets to transfer. It was also confusing. <laughs> you gotta hire like a, I don't know. You hire an accountant or like a lawyer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe both. What kept me busy the most were all the part-time jobs I took on to make a living. The inheritance my parents left me was all used up to pay for tuition. I spent every day cramming for graduation, and the rest of my time doing paperwork or working. School, work, and the whole process kept me busy enough to, to forget my grief. But once I reached a stopping point with the paperwork, summer had come, along with the holidays. I suddenly had a break. Summer break in university drags on forever, which should have been great. But for me, it only made things more depressing. Everywhere I looked in the house was a reminder of my parents. One day, I happened to glance at the photo I found in the clock. The person in that photo was probably my grandfather. I kept staring at it, and that thought made all the loneliness I thought I had gotten used to come crashing back down on me. I wanted to see him, or at least try. I wanted to talk to him, and ask him things too. I quickly went and withdrew what little savings I had from working. I used my summer break to try and find a place in that photo. And right now, I'm sitting on a train, bound for Azakawa Village. Totally, nothing bad will happen once we go to this rural Japanese village that, in almost every horror game, is bad news, but don't worry about it. Finally, I reach the station. The sun's strong today, but there's no one else here. I'm pretty sure heading up to the village will also take some time. I just left without taking much luggage, but they probably have a convenience store or something, right? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Where's the bus stop? I was gonna say though, you know, taking a trip in Japan is not that bad. Because Japan, I mean, for one, has a really good public transportation system. So I don't know how good it is for like really remote areas. 
but it's relatively small, you know. Japan is like a relatively small island compared to, I don't know, like North America. It's not that bad. The timetable is posted here, but very few trains are still running. It's a poster for a festival. Looks like it'll be in three days. I see. The name of the station is etched on a rusted metal plate. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't know, I was thinking like the character... I, I mean, I guess, I guess she just... She just... Entered university? I, I guess it was implied that she hasn't entered yet. She's still doing... Like he, apparently she's still... She was, she was cramming for university graduation. So... I'm not sure. She's, she's either like right before university, or like going into university, or just started. I think it's implied that she hasn't actually went to university yet. So okay, it makes sense that she's not like a full grown adult yet, actually. She's still pretty young. Solid juice bottles with weird names you don't see in the city. Hmm. How much money do I have? You know, that's the, that's the important thing. How much money do I have? I can't see my items, so I don't know if it matters. Sure. With so much nature around, maybe it's a hundred percent juice. Wow, that's a lot of artificial sweeteners. <laughs> well, whenever you see a hundred percent natural on the juice box, it's that's not true. You know, that's just a. It's not technically a lie, but it's basically a lie. A hundred percent or something is doesn't mean it's a. You know, it's literally made 100% out of the thing. You know, 100% like orange doesn't mean it's made out of 100% oranges. It's just that they used 100% of an orange in, you know, the juice box, but they also added a whole bunch of other things, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, a, a trash can, but since not many people seem to use it, it remains barely empty. Like my bank account. Wait for bus. So we can go with the option to wait for a bus. Walk around. Again, I do like the graphics. What do you call it? I mean... It's, uh, it's, you know... Game Boy Advance, you know, in, in, in that era. Like, the later Game Boy Advance games. That's what it feels like to me. Which I... I like. I really like. I, li I like that kind of... To me, that's the... Mm, the peak of, like, pixel art. You know? Game Boy, GBA, Game Boy Advance. Kind of reminds you of like the later Pokemon games, you know. Or I say later. I mean, there's still Pokemon games, but you know, the later the later ones still in pixel art, You're still using sprites. You know, before like they start using 3D models and stuff. The bus for Asakawa Villages. In three hours. Nothing else to do but wait, I guess. It's really taking its time. It's still not here. <laughs> it's just, just waiting the entire time. Is the bus still in service? Do you even know this? I don't think the bus is coming. I wonder if we can make it to the village on foot. Oh. A police car? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, well, the bus isn't coming. Bus? Well, not enough people use it, so it was decommissioned. Of course. You know, why didn't you put, a, like, a note, you know, on the freaking bus schedule? Otherwise, you know, people will, uh, will don't, don't know if, if it's still being used. Uh, were you on your way to Azakawa Village? Yeah. I see. All right. It's not safe to be all alone here, so how about I give you a ride? But you're a police officer. I shouldn't talk to cops without a lawyer. No, um... Are you sure? Of course. So where are we headed to? Oh, I'm looking for this place. Do you know anything about it? Oh? Now oh, this is the village archive. Huh? Archive? 
It was a fairly impressive estate back in the day. But when the owner passed away, it was turned into an archive. So what brings you to a place like that? Well, a relative. Huh? Um... It's fine. I won't pry. Well, get in, get in then. The archive closes once it gets dark. Or once, once it gets dark. Big old house. Um, thank you so much for this. Don't mention it, but are you sure this is the right place? Yes. Well, it may be after hours, but the caretaker should still be there. He's strict though, so he might not let you in. Regardless, if anything comes up, give the police station a call. I will, thank you very much. Now oh, this cop isn't so bad. <laughs> you know, he's like, well... I mean, for one, I feel like Japan uh, has really has really high trust for you know police officers in society. I feel like unlike North America, um, but also you know I guess it's just a rural cop, like a like a rural yeah, rural cop. They're 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 often depicted as just like I don't know good guys in in anime. They're just like just a nice cop. I'm just helping other people around, even though that's not what cops usually do. <laughs> I feel like in the city, they don't, they don't just help people. They just, well, they're cops. But anyway, um, oh wow, this place really is an archive. Walk around. Apparently there is a caretaker. Uh, the branches are so thick, it's like the archive is being consumed by them. It's not possible to go around from here. Why not? I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, fine. I was gonna say, like, though, apparently this place is very old, but it's still being maintained. Doors open. I guess they're not closed. I come this far, so I might as well take a, a look around. Here goes nothing. Oh yes, dark. <laughs> it's dark. Huh. This smell feels familiar. Alright. Oh, it's the same as that old clock at home. I excuse me, is anyone here? Spooky Ambience starts to play. Let me just save the game real quick. It appears to be an interior map, but it's too dark to make out. Let's look around. I was gonna say, the, the, the whole place just makes me think of, like, a typical haunted mansion in a <laughs> RPG make a horror game. Uh, I mean, apparently there's a person living here. It's not just spooky ghosts. I turn on. Is that just a lamp, right? There's some writing, but it's too dark to make out. Open in case of emergencies. Is there anything around here that could work as a light source? No, good. It's locked. I want this lamp. But I can't seem to interact with it. There's some writing, but it's too dark. Hmm. Too dark to make out. Looking closely, kitchen is written on here. Let's go to the kitchen, I guess. No? I guess not. I was hoping to find something in the kitchen. I guess you go up. Too 
dark, the dark. Oh, something glowing. Key labeled emergency lockers lying on the ground. Got the key. Oh. Something runs around in the dark. Was was there why is there like a, a gremlin in the dark? The shadow creatures. Pursuing you. Here's the key. Inside is an old flashlight. This might make it easy to look around. Should we go to check out the map? Classic, you know, RPG make a horror game thing where you have like an old flashlight that barely works. It's like it's always a lot of video games, you know, you just have like. It, I, mean, I guess it's like, I don't know, I guess in real life it's similar, but you never have like a really good flashlight, you know, in any kind of like horror game, you always have a shitty one that barely illuminates the path in front of you. But like, that's the point. That's why it's a horror game. <laughs> the interior map of the building. Hmm, I guess. You are here. You're at the bottom. In the lobby area. We go north. There's a book collection. There's an office kitchen the first floor we go upstairs a bunch of other stuff the third floor has some rooms and a balcony hmm first floor is books second is local history what is the third floor though the third floor i imagine is simply where you live please note that i communicate via writing According to the caretaker. Eating and drinking and open flames are strictly prohibited indoors. Smoking is per permitted outside. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse. Anything else to look at, actually? Let's go back over here. Donations to the archive are greatly appreciated. Let's see. We're going upstairs. I'm curious about the books, but I don't have time to read it right now. Oh, no, no books for you. Office. Hmm. Office. Uh, can we explore more? We can. Okay, we can go the, the, this way now. Can't go in there, though. These are just the bathrooms, I think. Looks like the breaker, but it's locked. A plate with strangely blackened food has been left out. <laughs> what? The upper wall and ceiling are stained with soot. Hmm, someone tried cooking, I guess, but not very good at it. It's a refrigerator. A bird smell is coming from the microwave on top. Sounds like there's an empty space under the floor. What is this? Some kind of hatch, but I guess we don't interact with it right now. I guess that's that. Let's explore the office, maybe. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. We're not going that way. I guess we're going up. Let's look around some more. It looks blocked off, but I can go around. I mean, why is it? Yeah, why is it a freaking? How do you say a? I was gonna say VLC player. That's not right. Uh, traffic cone. It's like a lot of RP, you know, a lot of RPG games or any game really, where they just put a traffic cone in front of your path, and suddenly your character can't get past. Uh, do not leave with reference books without notice. Inform the caretaker if you require copies. A painting titled "Sound the Rain." TV and VHS player. Educational videos. Items important to the village. No running or playing. Locked. Kids room. Another traffic cone. <laughs> what do you mean? It really is. I thought I thought they were joking. 
you know, she says she can go around, but like, no, quite literally, it's like you, you're not allowed. It's like psych, like psychic powers, you know, prevent me from walking past this traffic cone. All right. Well, I guess, I guess we can go up here though. Like the other way is blocked off, but this way isn't. It's so dusty. I guess nobody comes here. Locked. Hmm. Emergency exit. Emergency exit is locked. What if there? Oh, yeah, what if there's an emergency? How about this one? Okay, there you go. Look around. Old and hard to open. Should I pull harder? I didn't do that, I guess. What's this book? An old picture book fell out. The Taking Spirit and the Guardian. Azakawa Village Folktale, The Taking Spirit and the Guardian Once upon a time, there was a beautiful woman in the village. Eventually, the woman used her beauty to enthrall the men of the village and made them do bad things. The village fell into decline while the wives and children of the men went hungry. One day, the evil woman was run out of the village and into the mountains. But instead of ceasing her evil ways, the woman transformed into a monster. The woman became the taking spirit and kidnapped many children who wandered into the forest, throwing them down to hell. Even if the village men went to the forest to vanquish her, none emerged victorious. Then one day came a light, mist like rain, and the taking spirit suddenly came down to the village along with it. Where are my children? Where are my children? The forest doesn't have enough children. Now give me your children. At that moment, one of the villagers approached the Taking Spirit. Strangely, the Taking Spirit didn't attack the villager. The brave villager then threw a glowing blue stone at the Taking Village, or Taking Spirit rather. Once the Taking Spirit was hit, she let out a wail and returned to the forest. The villager who threw the stone begged the Taking Spirit not to take any more children. And she never came to the village again. She was defeated by a, <laughs> just a glowing rock. That villager became known as a guardian deity and continued to protect the village. Children no longer entered the forest and the village recovered. I wonder if this has any relevance to the main plot of this game. What a creepy story. What? That came out from the desk. I pulled the door. The goblin creature attacks. No, I'm... Um, Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> what was that? A little rat? It scared me. Was it a mouse? How is it in there? Did it get trapped inside? Oh. Inside the desk that the mouse came out of is the key labeled the third floor file room. Got key. Great. There might be more mouse in there. Oh, you need to save them. What happens? What if they get stuck in there, yeah? You want like a pile of suffocated dead mice in your drawer, huh? I guess it's not your drawer, though. There are some simple beds. It looks like they haven't been used in a while. <clears throat> All right. Third floor file room. We are on the third floor, so I don't know. I forget which one's the file room. Is it this one? I remember there's a map. There's a balcony. There's three rooms. I don't remember a file room, though. But somewhere here, I guess. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. It's just this one. You know, I actually thought the third floor was simply a living area, but no, there's a file room. 
There's a file with documents about the Azakawa Village Archive. They're labeled as important. I guess the showroom isn't on the third floor. There's a photo album. It's full of old photos. This looks more like a personal album. Most of the photos are of a, are of a man and a boy who resembles him. There are sticky notes with the names of the people in the photos. The man's name is Kiechiro. The boy's name is Kenji. That's my dad's name. Now what? I want to look more, but I really shouldn't. But... Dust written documents and old equipment have been left out. There's an old broken lamp. No use for that, I guess. Do we just simply leave? I mean, those are some like th those are some like classic RPG Maker sounds. You know the save menu and everything. Anyway, I'm really curious about the documents in this room. Okay, we can't leave yet. I followed the deed to the Azakawa Village Archive and all the documents. Let's check out one of the files. One of them contains the details to ownership rights over the land. Grandpa's name is signed at the bottom. Ah. Keichiro Kanzaki. That's my grandpa. Oh right. That name was in the album too. Anyway, my grandfather used to live here. So this really is my dad's hometown. I'll put the file back. I wish I could stay and look around more. I'll come back tomorrow and explain things to the caretaker. You know, I trespassed and stole keys. <laughs> and snooped around. Oh. Hello. Something shiny falls from the shelf. Well, what is it? There's a necklace set with three pale blue gems on the floor. It fell from the top of that shelf, but I can't reach that high. I'll bring it downstairs and leave it at the reception. So pretty though. How is it so shiny? Oh, it's mine now. It belongs to me. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to see my items. You know, look at that. No, this is a blue stone necklace. Which I think you see in the cover of the game. Maybe I think so. I guess we go back now. You hear something from further in. Is someone there? Maybe the caretaker. And totally not a shadow creature. This, you know, that's, that's come here to eat you in the face. Not this way. Well, the freaking traffic cone has been moved away, so therefore we can go here now. Noise came from here. Maybe there's someone in charge over here. The sound came from here. It won't open. Um, hello? Who is it? Oh, a girl's voice comes from behind the door. Um, I came here looking for answers. You're not the caretaker. Um, no, actually, I'm looking for them. Who are you, the caretaker? No, I'm not. Anyway, get me out of here. What? I was hiding and got locked in. What? Then where's the caretaker? Don't know. And I don't want to be found. Then should I call the police? <clears throat> no. That's Officer... Mochikazuki, right? No way, he'll kill me. Then what should I do? A key falls out of the small hole in the wall. What's this? Use this to look for the key in this, to this room. Do a little fetch quest. 
Excuse me. Office spare. Turns out we're not done exploring. What's over here? Oh, this is an emergency exit. Okay, so we gotta go to the emergency, or not emergency, we're going to the spare office. Where is the spare office? I'm not sure. Is it, or is it, it's downstairs, right? Because there was like an office, you know, label. Oh yeah, I should leave that necklace at the front desk. Leave the necklace. A scrap of paper fell from the desk. What's this? A piece of an old calendar. There's a date that's been circled. Hmm. Ever since I got here, I've been feeling strangely uneasy. Old calendar scrapped. Necklaces, stones, glow with a faint blue hue. <laughs> Probably the same one that you throw at evil spirits or something. I don't know. Hmm. What's the old calendar scrap? June 12th is circled. Is that relevant to anything? I don't know. I guess we'll go to the office, maybe? Full of bulky files. Various keys for the building. Second floor storage room. I'll have to apologize to the caretaker later. Stealing all these keys and just opening everything up. Or list telephones, brand new. Full of stationery. Locked. Something else to look at. Cardboard box with trash in on it. Window appears to be fixed and can't be opened. Well, we're going nice shelf. Hmm. All right, well, I guess that's it. We simply let out the evil spirit on the second floor. Don't worry about it. I don't know. It could just be a person. I don't know. The first thing I think of is like this the evil spirit. Not here. Uh, over here. No, oh, no. Where is it? Oh, down here. I I brought the key. Um, I have the key for this door. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Should I open this door? Well, there's nothing else to do, so I guess I'll open the door. It's ominous. There's no response. Hello? Ah, are you there? You know, you're really trespassing in here. Are you crazy? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just looking for answers, you know? that this, It totally justifies my existence here. You're a student. Do you live around here? Yeah. So why are you hiding here? You even got locked in. I'm just here because I want to be. Huh? You don't want to go home or see anyone from school. That's all. So I'm staying here. But it's so late, you should go home. You don't need to tell me. I know, okay? Now forget it. Thanks for the help, kind stranger. By the way, give me the key you used to open the door. Huh? Why? Do you want to get in trouble? It's safer if I keep it. Uh, okay. All right. You should get out of here. It's dangerous after closing. The caretaker is a little crazy. Ah, oh, crap. You make sure to get you get out, okay? Huh? Wait. <laughs> okay. You don't just say that. You say the caretaker, by the way, is a mass murderer and kills people. You know, during the night, in one of his rampages. Nothing they'll look around for. I don't know. Anyway, I guess they'll just leave. 
That's kind of suspicious, though. I mean, I thought she was like a, some kind of evil spirit. I was still thinking it, even when she showed up, but then she looked normal, so maybe she is just a random student. But now that she get herself locked in, you know, I feel like this doesn't make any sense to me, but. Oh well. Guess we will just leave. La da 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 da. Huh? What was that? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's, it's, it's just you. It just sounds like gunshots. It's so loud. It's locked. For now, I've got to find a way out of here. Even if you get caught, don't say anything about me. What? Hey, wait. Who secured who secured with a padlock? Also, where she got now? I don't know. Mm -hmm. She went north again, but where to? Obviously that's locked. Did she go back up? Or they have a katana. They have a glowing katana. <laughs> Was that a sword? It looks like he just came out of that room. Hmm. Which room? This room? Well, that's locked. Oh, here we go. Do I also get a glowing sword? Azakawa Village Archive Showroom. Please do not touch the exhibits. It is farming implements and a stack of hay. A long rope is hanging down. I got rope. It came from upstairs. We attack. We attack the demon with my rope I came from upstairs No, no, let go Well, no way to go but forward. I was gonna say, you know, all right, all right, time to leave. Goodbye. <laughs> but we can't. There's no way we can't leave. I guess we just have to watch her get slaughtered by, a, you know, fedora wearing, you know, redditor or something. I don't know. Was that meme of you know, the person wearing fedora and like having a katana? There's footsteps coming closer. I have to hide. Oh, I need to lock the door. What do I do? Uh, I saved the game. <laughs> do, 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 do. Where are we hide? I don't know. Can't really leave. Anything we can do? I guess we can use the rope. The rope is too short. Damn it. Uh, there's this old lamp. It might be useful. I use some books. I use this box. I use my Kung Fu. I simply <laughs> attack. I get into an RPG battle in this RPG maker game. 
I use the broken lamp. If I drop this lamp, it should make a loud noise. Okay, I wasn't really thinking that's how we would use it, but sure. I think they left. I need to leave now, but how? I know. There might be an office, or there might be an office in the phone? No, there might be a phone in the office. Imagine an office in the phone. I mean, that's just an office phone. Uh, let's see. Here. Why, why, why were they... I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. I should they're like an NPC, you know? It's like, what, what, what would they assume from the sound? Like a crashing glass from the other end of the window. I, I like, look, if I was the killer with a katana, I'd just be confused. You know, why would, why would they be allowed like crashing sound? You know, because if I expect like a but like a like a person to jump off, they would make more like a thump sound. You know. Anyway, it's the office. So there has to be a phone. Oh, well, there's a brand new one right here. But there's no receiver. Huh? No way. I really need to find a way out of here. There's another room here. What could be inside? What could it be? Oh, there's stuff. Small wooden box, but these a combination block. I don't have a code. Scatter pile of notes. Please leave, we are closed. No entry inside or to the third floor. Please leave, we are closed. We don't have anything on that. We are closed tomorrow. Uh, where's your mom? Where are you from? What? The sheath for a sword has been left out. Hmm. Oh, is this where they were napping? And they're and they're like, <laughs> people detected must kill. Some storybook making guys have been left out. Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, the only thing I think of is... Let's see. Was it... 621? No. What was it? <laughs> like, the only clue that we have is the, the scrap paper, right? The calendar scrap? Oh, 12. Not 21, is 12. So, I guess the answer is... 612? There you go. There's a key inside. It's labeled the basement. Basement? I wonder where it is. But the basement entrance would have been on the first floor. We're just exploring the entire archives here for some reason. Alright, let's, let's do that. I remember it was in the kitchen. So let's go there. I still can't go in there, but I guess we'll check out this. Try the basement key. It opened. Does that mean there's an underground path in the basement? Okay, I just have to put the rope through this hole and then I can get down. I guess that's what the rope is for. Can you, like, miss the rope somehow? I imagine not. Because you have to backtrack a lot, you know, if you miss the rope somehow. What is this place? Why would this be under a library? You know, now we're end up in a weird, creepy basement. You know, all we wanted to do was meet our grandpa. Which, I don't know if he's alive or not. Because I imagine it's been a while. That's all we wanted to do. We just wanted to meet grandpa. And now we're being chased by a weird katana killer. Which I feel like... I don't know. If it was common knowledge that he kills people with katana, then you think he'd be arrested by now. Anyway, there's a small stone in the lantern. Pretty, it shines. 
It feels kind of familiar. There's something inside, but there's a big lid on top. It's very heavy and difficult to lift. This might be a dead end. I should hurry back and find an exit. I guess there's nothing here. There's a weird, like... It looks like a well? I think it's a well. I don't know. The weird well in the glowing rock. The old back shuffle. Mm hmm. Like, like we're moonwalking. And thus we die. Game over. Uh, the man is holding out a small piece of paper. Huh? Okay. I take the paper, there's writing on it. We are closed. Huh? Call the police according to regulations. Go to the lobby. Wait, but who are you? Why do you have a sword? The sword is fake. I'm the caretaker. <laughs> There's a funny nose, too. Okay, yeah. Well, he's the character. I kind of, you know, I kind of knew that because just just by looking at the cover of the game, it's like a dude with black hair and he's holding a katana. It's like he doesn't seem to be like a villain. So, so yeah, it was just a fake out from the very beginning. I wonder how it was in the original. I guess when you don't have that context, maybe it's scarier. I don't know. Anyway. Alright, I'll take Miyako home then. Just how many times has it been? Go home when it's closing time. I can get home by myself. Plus, I wasn't going to stay that long. I got locked in. It wasn't my fault. You're the one who's making a big deal out of nothing, Officer Mochizuki. You're a nuisance to Kotoro here, and your parents must be worried. Totally understand that. Um. Ah, right. Kotoro, Shiori says she has some business here. She came from pretty far away, and I escorted her from the station. But from the look of things, it seems like you haven't had time to talk. As if they could. She was too scared to say a word. Some caretaker he is. Miyako. Uh, though I should have taking the time to see you off the entire way. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. If you knew this guy and how he has communication problems, <laughs> maybe you should just came in the first, you know, the first time. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh no, it's nothing. I invite myself in after all. But I did find out something. Oh, I see. It all worked out then. Just what did you find out here? Well, the truth is, is that I think I'm the granddaughter of Kichiro Kanzaki. But some things happened, and I needed to make sure for myself. I can't believe it. So that's what brought you out here. To think that someone from that family would be in this house again. Huh? Go home. Uh, yeah, it's well past closing time anyways. I talked for way too long, sorry. If I can stay somewhere close and come back tomorrow... Don't come tomorrow. Go home. Huh? I know I caused a lot of trouble today, but... But, but, <laughs> you know, I trespassed and stole all your keys and moved things around and, like, stole private information. You know, it's fine. I'm like a cute little anime girl. I can do what I want. You know, I can break all the laws. It's fine. What? Looking to inherit the house? Hey, learn to watch what you say. What? I may be Keichiro's granddaughter, but 
I'm not here because I want the place, even though it would sell for a pretty penny. <laughs> you see, the housing market these days, you know, is like, probably like, make a lot of money. You pay, you, I mean, technically you already paid off for student debt, but you know, you can make even more money. It'd be great. <laughs> it's just, go home. But I need to know more about this place no matter what. I know it's pretty selfish of me to ask for something like this. But my parents recently passed away in a car accident. I'm not really sure what to do. It's embarrassing. Living life without knowing much about yourself or your parents. For the first time it hit me just how lonely that feels. It was then that I found a picture of this village. So I took out all my savings from working and came here. The place in this picture is the only clue I have to go on. That's why I have to know more. You take, you know, you, I imagine he takes out some paper and be, uh, TLDR. No, um, I see. Ah. Wow, so mean. You really kicking her out? <laughs> That's funny, she's just like... Well, she was suspicious about her the, uh, the beginning, and then now she's like... A whole... 180. What's Mr. Caretaker so afraid of anyways? Besides, think about it. There's no way someone like her would actually want this shoddy building. She says so herself, so a look around wouldn't hurt. Hey, let's calm down. Also, there, there isn't really a place to stay around here. What? It's just a village with nothing much. No buses, stores, or, ho or hotels of any kind. There is one place the village chose to use in emergency situations. And that's here. Mr. Caretaker definitely knows that, so stop playing dumb. Well, it's all so sudden, even Kotoro was surprised. But now things have been cleared up, so can we leave it at that? And there we have it. You should be fine to stay the night. It's something the village decided on. Right, Kotoro? It's a funny nose. I don't know, the way the character is drawn, they have a giant nose for some reason. Big triangular nose. Which is, you know, definitely like in, in anime, whatever. Everyone's nose is like usually a like a tiny dot, you know, or, or they just don't have noses. It's just this guy has a big giant nose for some reason. From that day, I began my stay at the archive. The caretaker here can't speak, and written notes are used in place of words. It seems he can hear my voice though. That night, I was given another memo from him. Do not step outside the archive. I tried asking why, but he just went back to his room. Once I get things sorted out, I think I'll leave right away. The archive doesn't just have documents, it has reminders of my parents too. With each passing memory, I can feel warmth envelop me. At the same time, however, I have some doubts. Why hadn't mom and dad brought up anything about our hometown. Why did we move away? Why did they cut ties with everyone they knew? Why does it feel there's some secret here? Does the answer rest in this archive in Azakawa village? Or... Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! No, um, anyway, bookmark Shadow Memories. Added to bookmarks. I don't know what that means exactly. There is like a bookmark menu in the in the main menu. The chapter two. Oh. Come, drink some water. Mercy, thank you very much. Please believe me, we didn't steal a single grain of rice. So why must we continue to be punished like this? Because of that, I lost another child tonight. Is there anything I can do? Please, oh please. My child, please mourn for my child. Alright, I shall prepare a proper burial. Mercy, you're so kind. 
I don't know who's talking. I guess two people talking there. It feels like I saw a really weird dream. Huh? I can't remember what I dreamt about, even though it was just a moment ago. I mean, that's normal. It's all fuzzy. Maybe I'm just tired from everything that happened yesterday. At least, it's a nice day today. I want to feel positive about looking into my parents' past. Alright, it's a new day. You know, definitely, uh, this game. Feels more like a mystery than it is horror. Maybe we get into the horror later, right? You know, but... Definitely just feels more like just a mystery. Mystery game. Well, time to read. Um, I already read this one, right? I read it again just to be sure. Okay, yeah. I already read this. Ah! Ah, where are my children? Ah, we threw a, a rock at you and now you go home. Ah, get wrecked. Okay. Do, do, do. Construction is still going on. I mean, someone's just hammering something. On the floor above me. I guess I should go greet the caretaker. Though he's a little scary. Um, was the caretaker's room in the first floor? Alright, well now it's nice and light outside. It was just very dark, you know? Why was the entire archive just very dark before? You know, there's no light switches? I mean, again, it's like a rural area. I mean, the, even villages have electricity, right? I guess the lights are just all turn off. Why can't we just turn it on, you know? Hmm. Alright, well I guess we'll say hi to the caretaker. Because I'm thinking, like, well, I guess they just turn on... I mean, there's, there's this lamp over here. They must have, like, put on, like... I don't know. Some candlelight? No, no, there's, there's an air conditioner, right? It looks like a freaking central AC. They should have, like, a light switch. Where's the light switches? Just turn on the lights. Oh, no, we, why? It's funny how we just stayed in the dark the whole time in the first part of the game, even though I feel like we didn't need to. You just turn on the lights. Come on. Anyway, um, where's the caretaker? Are they here? Yo, what's up? Um, good morning. Thanks for letting me stay here yesterday. And, uh, I still want to know more about my family, so can I look around the archive some more? What are you searching for? There isn't much left from the previous owners. Most of it was thrown away. But I found a photo album yesterday. If I can learn more about my parents, even just a little bit. You can look in any of the unlocked rooms. Thank you. But don't go outside of the archive. Oh, but I don't have food or supplies for my stay. I really didn't expect there wouldn't be a hotel here. Not my problem. You know, starve, idiot. No, uh... Okay, he says nothing. Can I call can I call Uber Eats or whatever? I don't know. I imagine I mean I imagine the setting of this game is actually I mean compared to the current time, at least a, a, a decade ago maybe. Cuz you know there's still like old technology around and they're calling this like brand new, this like phone, you know. Sorry. I, I just have RPG protagonist, you know, habits where I just look at everything. I touch every doorknob just to see if it's open. But that was awkward. 
But anyway. Don't look around. There's a book. It's a page with something written about Azakawa Village. History of Mankind. From the Jaman era. Jaman? Jaman? I turn to a page that looks irrelevant. History of Mankind. Chapter 2. When Men Kill the Forest God. The people of ancient times, special places like waterfalls and lakes, and large rocks known as Iwakura, stimulated holy sublime feelings. In our country, the, uh, those mountains or rocks themselves were deemed gods, and they were enshrined as a place of faith. Many of these rocks had buildings built around them and remain as shrines today. I believe that Azakawa Village's Mount Kinobori is one of those enshrinements. However, because of the ancient legend of the Taking Spirit, the road to the mountain is off limits, and not enough research has been done. Evidence of this is present in forager societies across the globe. Apart from Azakawa Village, hardly any evidence of snake worship remains. Snake worship? We worship snakes around here? Page about the village. Power Stone Investigation. Isn't Power Stone like a video game? Power Stone Investigation. Number five. Occult Bonanza. The luminous stone legend of Azakawa Village that defies science. Azakawa Village, a place deep in the mountains, surrounded by rice fields and a beautiful lake. I visited this village next in order to get a glimpse of their luminous stones, which can be found anywhere else. The, so the stones are said to ward off evil, so there's a tradition of giving them to children to carry. Luminous stones have a strange trait. They usually appear light green, but under the right conditions, they grow brightly enough to be seen in the dark. It's hard to believe, but some informed or enthusiasts have purchased them for unbelievable prices. But now production is low and the industry no longer exists, so they're not for sale anymore. But there's just so many mysteries about the luminous stones that makes the enthusiasts even crazier about them. Luminous stones were mined here for a hundred year, uh, hundreds of years, but for some reason, Azakawa Villa has no records on it. The history is only passed orally by the elders of the village until recently, so since it's only a local legend, I don't know if it's true or not. The birth of those beautiful stones is completely shrouded in mystery. Okay, so another reference to glowing rocks, basically. Are we sure it isn't just radiation? It's just irradiated stones that give you cancer. And a shelf of books, they look donated. Reading all the books in Lumpy will probably take a couple of days. Well, this doesn't have anything about us a couple of village. Uh, I'm over here. Uh, okay, that's it, I guess. That's it for the books. Oh, actually, what about this one? Yeah, yeah there's actually another one. Mysterious Disappearances Discourse, 1980s. Hmm. Chapter 4, I want to say. I, I can never read the Roman numeral for like 4. Why can't they just make a 4? You know, why can't, why can't they just... Why can't they just simply... Time travel back to Roman times or whatever. Who invented the Roman numerals? I'm assuming the Romans, but I don't know. It could be Greek. I'm not sure. Anyway, um... Well, I was thinking like, why, well, can't you just make the number 4? Instead of making it like... A one and a five, you know, it's confusing because I, I want to say 15, you know, it makes no sense though. But I think it's a four because if it's on the other side, it's a six. Anyway, but Asakawa Village belief in the taking spirit. Taking spirit. I don't know, it, it probably sounds cooler in Japanese. Like, you know, it's, it's like that, the, what's that, the, you know, that movie, you know, Spirited Away. Being spirited away, you know, that sounds cooler than being taken away. That sounds mundane. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably a cooler way to localize the name, I feel like, compared to like taking spirit. It's the taking spirit. I don't know. Anyway, the village is surrounded by mountains, but part of the road there is closed off. That is due to their beliefs. Since ancient times, children's disappearances have been blamed on the taking spirit. But as I have previously mentioned, this is also part of our local folklore, 
And it's just an example of mountain worship or tales of being spirited away. Yeah. Spirited away. Like being spirited, spirited away just in general is like a term. I believe legends like this exist due to the villagers trying to ease the pain of those who have lost their relatives. By creating a convenient story to explain why children go missing or die tragically in the mountains. But these legends are also peculiar. For a long time, it was passed down, wor uh, yeah, passed down by word of mouth to avoid leaving a written record. But in recent years, the village elders ordered it to be written down as a warning. Many elders still believe in the legend, and they continue to fervently insist that countless children have gone missing in the mountains since ancient times. However, due to mass communication, belief in the taking spirit has started to fade among young villagers. Skepticism is also growing concerning restricted parts of the mountain, with beliefs that it hinders the building of new real estate, such as recreational facilities. <clears throat> Rec recreational facilities. Can't speak. Alright. Well, we've read all the books. Amazing. Where's that glowing necklace? He put it away. You told us not to leave, but can I leave anyway? No. For now, I'll look around. But I refuse. And the main character refuses to leave. You can finally see the... The, uh, the rooms on the right. You know, it's a bathroom. It's very Japanese, by the way. They have, like... I don't know. Is it Japanese? I'm not sure. Like, I always see in, like, <laughs> in uh, RPG Maker games. And sometimes in anime. But, like, yeah. Like, the toilet is, like, separated from the shower, basically. Or that's, a, I guess, a bathtub. But, well, usually in Japanese houses, like, it is, there is a separation, but, like, it's not in completely different rooms. It's still in the same room, but it's just, a, you know, there's, like, a divider in between. You know? Which I th again, it's, like, very Japanese to have them separate like that. At least I think so. I don't know. Unless I'm completely insane. But like usually in every place I've ever lived in, there's like, it's usually, in the, you know, the, the toilet is like right next to the bathtub. <laughs> you know, it's in the same place. I'm assuming that's the same in, at least in North America. I don't know. Um, it looks like the breaker, but it's locked. Oh, that's you know, already read that, I think. The sink is nice and clean. Still stained with soot, though. We don't want to go back in the basement, no? Guess not. Do, 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 do. Well, I guess we look around some more. I mean, what else can we find? I'm not sure. Have we went here yet? It's locked though, so we can't go in there. So this is the showroom. I didn't get a chance to look around yesterday. Oh, let's look around. Luminous stone vase. A vase made from luminous stone. It emits a faint blue light. Oh, maybe... Was it emitting that light in the dark in the darkness before? I never really... I wasn't thinking about it. Luminous stone fragments. It's native to Azakawa village. They emit light under certain conditions, but the cause is unknown. Hmm. Luminous stone. This is a luminous stone that has been cut into a sphere. Used in exorcisms and rituals by the village guardian. Luminous stone trinkets. People of the uh, Azakawa village have worn luminous stone trinkets since ancient times. They are said to repel evil or often given to children. However, there is currently a shortage of luminous stone and artisans that work with them, making them very precious. I could, again, I could make a pretty penny if I stole these, you know, just... But what, what do we really want? Do we want to, like, uh, meet our grandpa or do we just want to make money, you know? Money would solve all our problems. No, um... Map of the village? It's a very old map. The mountains behind the archive are left out completely. 
the new generation village guardian an old photo of an unfamiliar person mount kinabori a landscape painting of asakawa village it shows the natural beauty of the area i've more or less seen everything now but it's also strange asakawa village sure has a lot of mysterious stories but i can't find out anything about my parents with the stuff here yeah, we just learned kind of like rumors about the village, and there's like this taking spirit that eats children and like glowing rocks, but like that's it. This is not really relevant. I don't care about any of this. <laughs> Nothing else around here? That was a balcony mechanic. I guess it's locked. Go back to our room for fun. But something else. Yes. Locked. Oh, this room. Alright, I should take a closer look at that album from yesterday. There's a photo album. It contains many old photos of Kechiro and Kenji. Uh, since I'm here, I want to take a good look at this album. So mom and dad lived here when they were young. They, there aren't any photos from when I was young here either. There's so much I don't know, so it feels weird. There's not much that can tell me about my family. Maybe there's something in one of the other rooms. I'll ask the caretaker about the rooms that are still locked. Hmm. Alright. You know, I'm beginning to think that she's just adopted. <laughs> you know, it's just... It's like, there's no photos of her... Of when she was younger in the village. So, she must have been, like, again, like, adopted or something. I don't know. It's like, there's no photos of her when she's younger. They had to have, you know, they had to have, have had her in the city, right? But there's no photos of them in the city, I guess. And I don't know how the timeline works. It might have been, you know, she would have been younger, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know how old the parents are, actually, so I have no idea exactly how that works. I don't know what the timeline is. In fact, the timeline is uh, intentionally ambiguous, right? They put like 19xx to everything. So I don't know what the year is exactly, even. So I don't know. So they, I, I'd have had to have had her in the city, because supposedly they moved to the city. Or she's freaking adopted. You know, mystery solved. You know, that's it. Uh, anyway, but of course, there's probably more to it than that. It's locked. There's a note on the door. Gone out. Okay, now what? Huh? Is someone at the door? <laughs> it's a funny way to knock on the door. I guess I should go check. I'm assuming it's the girl, you know, from last night. Maybe? Hey, hello? It's you? Huh? Oh, you're from yesterday. I didn't hear anything about the place being closed today. Why is it closed? Oh, I guess it really is. One second. Oh. No padlock. I can just open it. It really is you. Hi there. Hi. Hey, do you know why the archive is closed? Oh. Uh, probably because the caretaker went out. Probably. I was looking for him too, but it looks like he's gone. Huh? So he locked you in here without saying anything. The heck? It's like he's keeping you prisoner. Huh? He's awful. He should have told you before leaving. You're supposed to be a guest here. 
Well, I'm really just causing trouble for him. Hm. But he did give me permission to look around. Oh, isn't that nice? Are you still looking? Yeah, but the rest of the rooms I want to check are locked. Then, why don't you come with me? Uh, he insisted that I don't go out, though. But you won't learn about the village by, just by staying in the archive, right? It's a quiet place, but also pretty boring. But I guess there's nothing in the village either. Well, I am curious about the village, too. Uh, but the caretaker said, Oh, he's just concerned about the forest. Huh? Just don't go in the forest. Besides, you don't need to listen to everything the caretaker says. He's the one being weird. You are a guest of the village. So why should you follow his orders? I guess I do need food, towels, and other things for my stay. You didn't bring underwear, did you? <laughs> I guess I need those too. You didn't even get a chance to brush your teeth. Yeah. Anyway, do you know where the store is? Oh, for... Okay. Fine. I'll show you the way. Really? Thank you. No need. Let's go then. Wee. Oh, hello, uh, hello, peep, by the way. I might have missed your message. Hey. What? Everything happened so quickly yesterday that I couldn't give it your name. Or couldn't even get your name. Can you tell me if that's okay? Miyako. Miyako Sakuma. I see. So Mimi, huh? Mimi. Oh, that's funny. Is that, I wonder if that's localized. Because, uh, Miyako, Mi... I imagine in the Japanese version, she just simply said Miyako-chan. I'm not sure. Anyway. Don't call me that. It makes me sound like a little kid. So embarrassing. Alright. Then how about Miko? No one's ever given me a nickname before. So are nicknames like normal for city people or something? Not really. I just thought it was cute. Uh, then I don't know. Then again, I guess, you know, in Japanese, you do give people nicknames. That is a possibility. I'm just, always, I'm just always thinking about honorifics, you know, how it's translated in English. Anyway. City people are weird. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, it's so green here. It kind of makes me excited. Huh? There's literally nothing here. Maybe, but I still think it's pretty. Isn't life in the city way more exciting? There's department stores and CD shops and arcades and convenience stores. Crap. I knew I should have stayed with the archive. Sorry, you're on your own from here. Just go straight and look for the sign at the crossroads. You'll be fine. Huh? What's wrong? It's nothing. And don't tell anyone you saw me either. Huh? Huh. Hey, you're... That girl from yesterday. Sorry this is out of nowhere, but have you seen Miyako around? Huh? It seems like she's skipping school again. Oh, is that so? Right, she should be in school right now. You know, never trust the cops. <laughs> again, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Uh, I, I mean, on one hand, she seems nice. You know, we want to make friends with her. On the other hand, she just kind of left us here, you know? Like, she was doing us a favor... Up until now, and then, then she just abandoned us. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Does this even, does this even matter? <laughs> no, I haven't. All right. If you see her, could you talk to her? She's got a lot going on, you see. So how about you? Are you heading to the village now? Yes, I was on my way to buy some things for my stay. I see. Well, since you're here, you should look around the village, too. It's a nice little village that's a lot greener and quieter than the city. Of course. It really is beautiful here. You're on your summer break, right? I knew you came here for a reason. But it's also important to have some fun once in a while. So, take your time and enjoy exploring the village. 
Have some fun and take my time, huh? But now is not really the time for that. Anyway, I should hurry and get my shopping done. I'm gonna save the game. Thus, the choice whether to snitch on Miyako, you know, has affected the timeline. It has affected the timeline. Um, uh, what's the word? I want to say exponentially. That's not the right word, but you know, something like that. So worn out, paid for. It looks like it's on its last leg. Hmm. It's rice fields that way. No, I was gonna say as well. You know, I uh, obviously. This is not the case, but definitely I thought in the beginning, um, I thought Miyako was like in some kind of spirit, right? That she was, she needed to be slain by the caretaker or something because she's like an evil spirit. But no, she's just literally just a girl. She's just a human, so. Oh, a shrine. It feels kind of mysterious. I guess we don't go that way. Time to go to the... Nice rural village, which to be honest, my only exposure to like Japanese villages is anime, specifically Nan Nan Biori, which is like a nice anime about like just, I mean, just at literally anime girls just hanging out in like a rural village. It's just nice and relaxing. I don't know. Uh, the sign, the sign, the crossroads must be this one. Hmm. The village. Um. Where are we though? Are we I, I technically I think we did pass the shrine, so but we came from that way, so I guess we're over here somewhere. Maybe. There's also a, a mine. A lake. Kinobori Pass is the mountain. Looks like the shopping area is south of this intersection. Nice. Let me talk to the villagers. They're staring daggers at me. Oh, okay. It's like real life. They just don't, they just don't talk to you. You know, you're not like, they're not just NPCs. They simply just get like two lines of dialogue from. This person is staring at me. They looked away. They're real, realistic. All right, well. Okay, let's go down, I guess. Do, 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 do. It feels like they keep glancing over at me. They seem to be looking at me, whispering about something. A baby. A tiny kid that's crying. It looks hungry. Oh, you poor little thing. Oh, on patrol, I guess that's the police station. This person is just standing blankly at the bridge at the end of the road. What? what why, why are you doing that? Why, why? This is actual NPC behavior. He's gone AFK. It might just be my imagination, but it feels like I'm being watched. Hmm. Hold on, I just want to... Oh, I want to interact with this. Oh, I don't know what this is. And go down this way. There's no transition this way. Okay. Do, 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 do. They're gossiping. Woof. They're looking at me curiously. Cat. No, nothing. No response from you. Oh, was that a chicken? Mm. I wonder if this is the general store. There's a sign saying, closed. We'll return briefly in the evening. So it's only open in the evening today, huh? I guess I should go back to the archive for now. Hmm, there's something on the ground. 
There's a patient ID card on the ground that says Kitabori Pass Clinic on it. I think the police station was near here somewhere. Well, I think the police officer was also out of town. No, no. Wait, no, that's not the police officer. Somebody else. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a middle schooler around here? Huh? No, not that I recall. I see. Well, sorry to bother you. Hmm. I wonder who that was. Maybe he's looking for Miko. Oh, on patrol. Alright, I just saw Officer Mochizuki earlier. Maybe I should take the patient ID directly to the clinic. But I don't know where the clinic is. I guess I have no choice. I'm nervous, but I have to ask. Oh no! You actually have to talk to people. That's insane. That's crazy. Who would think to do that? Um, excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I'm looking for Kinabori Pass Clinic. Do you know where it is? Ah, yes, Kinabori Pass Clinic. Go north of the car store and continue up the hill. I see. Thank you very much. I thought you didn't look familiar. You're not from around here, are you? He's like, I'm always being watched. But it seems like people are willing to talk. The clinic is north of the crossroads. Okay, I'll go that way. Is Agatha? Oh my, what a beautiful baby. Even younger than Yokohata's granddaughter who recently returned to the village. Oh, it must be tough to prepare for the festival with a baby and all. Oh my, oh my, don't you worry. We won't work your mother too hard. There, there. The empty lot is perfect for rocking babies to sleep and having chats. But recently, a land for sale sign was put up, you see. Though just who in the world would buy empty land like this in the countryside? Okay, well now, now they actually have those two pieces of, you know, dialogue that NPCs have. The town hall and the school are just across the bridge, just up ahead. I wasn't even here in the past, so here it was pretty inconvenient. I wonder why people even get here to live in a place like that. Though I guess I'm the one to talk. I'm still living here too, after all. Do do. What? Whose daughter are you? Would you kindly not eavesdrop on us like that? So I saw that girl walking around alone again the other day. Sure must be tough. Right? She's already a middle schooler. I can't imagine how her parents must feel. No, not her. The other one. The one who just returned. Oh, that one. So it really was a divorce. Who knows? I don't know the details, but rumor has it that his wife ran out on him. Oh, unfortunate. Hmm. I don't know. Are they talking about us? And they're saying how, like, there's a divorce, but really the... <laughs> I mean, the real answer is that her parents frickin' died. Did no one get the news about that? I don't know. These days, there are fewer people here, and nobody comes to take pictures anymore. I run a photo studio and a watch shop. I even make glasses now. But lately, all I've been doing is making reading glasses for the elderly. Even though I'm a watchmaker by trade. Well... You're gonna have to expand. You gotta go to the city. Also, just suspicious persons is just nothing. It's weird. Check in. I'm a bit curious, but the patient ID comes first. No chicken for us. We have been denied the poultry. Who are you? I hear some people are even growing suspicious of that new police officer. He's always giving rise to girls in his patrol car. Well, he is from the city after all. Nobody here is going to trust someone like that. Are people here really that distrustful of people from the city? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I've heard a lot of... Uh, the reason why I'm so, you know... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but I guess prejudiced against police officers. Uh, you, you, there are some pretty bad things that, you know, officers have done. Even though the general reputation, especially in TV shows, you know, they're usually the good guys and everything. But uh, they've done some pretty bad things, especially in rural areas. 
Anyway, like in real life, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no dialogue of uh, these people, I guess. Oh no, no, actually with you. There's dialogue of you, just not the other guy, I guess, for some reason. These hills aren't kind to us, old folks. Gotta take a breather. Hmm. Well, according to the map, I mean, according to the directions as well, it's just north. The clinic apparently is just, just go up. That old woman keeps needing breaks and still hasn't made it up here. But she's the one who says she wanted to see the view. Hmm. Nice view. Man, this really it reminds me of like uh, the, you know the graphics. Kind of remind me of, I guess, just third generation Pokemon. You know, like the only Pokemon I ever played was the original Pokemon, Pokemon Red. So I'm that old, um, and I think uh, Sapphire was. I never played the second generation. I don't know it, for whatever reason. I just never got my hands on the second generation Pokemon, so I kind of skipped to the third generation, kind of randomly. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that, and also, uh, the remake, you know, the remake of the original Pokemon Fire Red. I also played that. You know, again, it's, it's, it's in that kind of era, which I find kind of nostalgic. To me, that's, again, that's what I find nostalgic. People, you know, they find different things nostalgic, depending on when they start playing video games, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm still flabbergasted that some people don't like pixel art. You know that that's what I always find weird to me. Like whenever I don't know, whenever I see like a a post online, some kind of website, some kind of social media, and you know, they they post about some kind of game with sprite art, and they're like ew or something, right? They don't they don't like it in some way or another. You know, I can't remember like a specific post, but just in general, like. They like, point at like they they point at like a screenshot of a video game and it's like pixel art, right? It's like beautiful pixel art or like it's made from sprites and they're like, ew, you know, I don't like this. Where's the 3D models or something? You know, like they're so used to I guess 3D models or something. I don't know. But it just I just find it weird because I love pixel art. It looks great. To me it, it looks I don't know, it looks like childhood, <laughs> you know. But again, people, you know, it's like subjective, right? Whenever you start playing video games or whenever, you know, you play the most video games, I guess, is what you find nostalgic. I probably people way older than me, you know, find like, I don't know, like the really old games, right? The the style of like just lines, I guess. Yeah. Like the really old games. I don't, I, I don't know the name for it, but like, I want to say Pong, but not like, you know, not like Pong. Pong is like. Well, literally one of the first video games ever. You know, like, like uh, I don't know, like Pac-Man or something. Like the original Pac-Man. Waka Waka. Something like that. Like, something like that is way too old for me. That's That doesn't seem nostalgic to me. That's like before my time. But maybe people older than me find that nostalgic. I don't know. But anyway. This is just to say that I find this kind of art style. To me, this is nostalgic. Hmm. Kinobori Pass Clinic. Yep, this is it. This clinic looks old, but the architecture is kind of charming. A hilltop clinic like this is like something you see on TV. Same with the archive. It's nice to see the architecture being preserved. So all that muttering I heard was coming from you. I'm sorry. I was just doing the whole RPG protagonist thing where I monologued myself every five seconds. No, I was just admiring the building. And here I thought it was some patient off their meds. What? <laughs> no, I I'm not here as a patient. Someone dropped this patient ID card, so I came here to return it. Oh? Now just who could have dropped it? Oh, Mrs. Umimoto again. That's just like her. Sorry for troubling to you to come all the way up here just for this. Oh no, I should be the one apologizing for disturbing you out here. Well, it's no bother. I was just about to step up for a short break anyways. Though I haven't seen you around before, little miss. Alright, I've been staying at the village archive since yesterday. Is that so? The archive, huh? Quite the odd tourist you are to be wandering around the village. 
Uh, the truth is, my parents grew up here. I came here looking for anything related to them. Let me guess. You came here because they passed away recently. How? Oh, oh, well, th that's correct. Um, is it really that obvious? I mean... I mean, it's a probable, you know? Like, why would you come here looking for your parents? Is like, information. If they are still alive, you know? I mean, I, I, I guess they could have gone missing, you know? I don't know. I may look like a plain old man, but I still haven't lost my wits. I can tell if someone's gloomy by nature or if they're just feeling down. I see. I guess I have to be more careful. Well, I should be heading back. I still need to look into my parents. So I want to check out the archives as much as I can while I'm here. Mm, such melancholy. Wait there a moment. Here, this should be perfect for young folks like you. Stamp rally. Collect them all to receive a present from the shop at Azakawa Village. Azakawa Village official mas <laughs> mascot, Lumi Luck. Huh? Okay. This is a stamp rally. It was a dumb town hall idea, but I'm glad it's finally useful. At any rate, go take a look around the village and clear your head. Uh-huh. Consider this a doctor's order. Once you've had your fill, come see me again. A stamp rally, huh? It's true that I haven't been able to relax since the accident. I guess I'll take his advice and walk around to clear my head a bit. Again, this game really does feel like... I don't know, less like horror. More like something else. It's just, you know... It's a fun little game. This village doesn't have much, but the view here is not too bad. You should wander around for a bit longer. There's a stamp for the rally on this empty hilltop, too. I just left it out since I was asked to, but... Well, just make sure your stamp sheet doesn't get eaten. Okay. The village clinic. Now that I think about it, I can smell that very particular disinfectant-like hospital smell. There's nobody else inside right now. Mr. Stamp Inc. Oh yeah, that's what we saw before. It's probably for the stamp rally. And boop! Amazing. Anybody past that obtained? Wow. Cool. Great. Amazing. <laughs> By the way, this is tagged as horror. You know, so, yeah, it's supposed to be a horror game. I'm assuming this is the... I don't know. According to the store page... Compared to the original version of this game, they did add more content specifically to Chapter 2. So is this what it is? It's like, you know, you get to explore the village a little bit more. It's a little, again, a little like Harvest Moon. The old lady sure has a rough gathering wild veggies. Oh, you're a young inspired one. Can you help out with gathering wild veggies? Sure. Okay, I will teach you how to spot wild veggies. Got it? Now you know what to look for. Okay. Plants you know are edible even start to look shiny, as if it's an uh, interaction point. Really? Actually, they do kind of look shiny. Just go ahead and pick any shiny uh, yeah. Just go ahead and pick any shiny wild veggies you see. You can find wild veggies around the village. Thanks for your help. Wild veggies will wilt easily, so bring them back before night falls. I guess you grab them. Alpine Gisnured? Obtained. We need a lot to mix. Tsukudani. Uh, Tsukudani. Tsukudani. I guess that's another thing we gotta do. We gotta collect some grass. So there she goes. Huh? Was that Miko just now? More, more of this. Literal just plucking grass from the ground. Nettle. Nettle. Why does that sound familiar to me? I feel like nettle is like 
probably another like type of crafting material, you know, they always pick up from like a video game. Hmm. Alright. So I guess we have we have to visit all of the places. We finish visiting Kinabori Pass. We can also visit uh some other places. Let's go. Hmm. Sure, let's go back to where we were before. I guess. We'll go to the shrine later. Oh, the left, actually. Have you been in the left? What is this like? This music just makes me feel... Um... I don't know. It reminds me of Maple Story, basically. It's like MMORPG music. It was nice, relaxing music. Wow, this place is so beautiful. I wish we were close to the ocean instead of a lake. I'm sure ocean fish would taste way better. Do they? I actually don't know. Is there a difference? I, I, I guess there is a difference. There's different types of fish. There's like freshwater fish, and there's... Uh... Saltwater fish, right? Or what do you call it? Actually, I don't know. What's the word for it? Anyway. Azakawa Lake is the best spot for catching big fish in the village. Oh, I got a bite. It's a big one. I'm so puny. What is this? Never mind then. Cut. Stump. Amazing. Get your fishing on! Fish for free with a fishing ticket! One try per fishing ticket. Fishing, huh? Maybe mom and dad went fishing here when they were kids. They wonder what fish there are. That sounds fun. Maybe I'll try it. Catch a ton of fish and make something fancy for dinner. Dialogue during dinner at the archive changes based on number of fish caught that day. <laughs> you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna have dinner at the archive? You know, spoilers, apparently. There's a total of 18 types of catchable fish. Check the fish you caught by going to the Aquapedia in the menu. Ask the cafe attendant at Asakawa Lake for more details about fishing. Amazing. I don't have any fishing tickets. Great. It's like a, it's like a whole mechanic. Gorilla. Cat. Also, uh, Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, I wish I could catch a black bass for once. Or bass? Or bass? Is it, well, is it, <laughs> it's, it's a thing where like it's spelled the same but it's pronounced differently. It's a bass, I think. If this lake is so boring if not a black bass, then at least a blue gill. Alas, there's no non-native fish in this lake. Though it would be nice if there were. Alright, well time to go fishing, I guess. Uh, what nice weather. Asakawa Lake is calm today, so fish bait should sell well. You're not from the village, are you? Uh, are you? Why don't you try fishing? It's free. There's some gear next to the sign. You can fish once per ticket with these uh, fishing tickets. I recommend fishing. You want to slow down and relax. Here, I'll give you three fishing tickets, so try it out if you're interested. I learned how to fish. Take a look at the signboard first if you want to fish. Then pick one of the fishing... Uh, or take a yeah. Pick one of the Azakawa Lake fishing spots and cast your line. The difficulty and types of fish you can catch change depending on the fishing spot. You can ask the other fishermen on the pier before you start fishing to get some tips. Press the X key if you want to move to a different spot. Once you get a bite, keep pressing confirm to reel it in. You want to take a break, go back to the sign, just leave. It might take a while to get a bite, so fishing is a great way to relax. Have a good time fishing at Azakawa Lake. Great. It's a whole, like, fishing minigame. I feel like content creators, you know? Like, I don't know. I find fishing minigames... Okay, I guess. But for some reason, anytime I watch a streamer or any kind of content creator, they're like so crazy about fishing. They just spend like five hours fishing for some reason. In like any video game. I don't know why. I don't really see the appeal. It's okay, I guess. But like, it's, it's just fishing. I don't know. It's fun for like 10 minutes, but... I'm not gonna spend like 10 hours... On it. 
Can I get some tips first? No, this is the same thing. Uh, hold on. I guess I have to interact the sign first. Get your fishing on! Fish! Time to fish! Yeah! It's fishing time! Azakawa Lake has three main fishing spots. One, two, three. The long pier over there has a lot of fish that are pretty easy to catch. The short pier is for intermediate fishers. Sounds pretty good. And the edge of the island over there is for experts. I can see that you have a talent for fishing. I have a feeling you may become a big deal in the fishing world. Okay, what about you? Uh, I wish we could catch a black bass for once. A black bass, rather. I'm using bass. It's not bass, it's bass. Hmm. I'll continue fishing up here. I want to ask that person if I need tips, you know? I guess they're not, they're not a fisher. Um... I mean, I guess we should, like, start easy, right? Let's start easy first. Hmm? Do I press anything? No. I... I don't know if you're supposed to press anything. Are you supposed to wait for them to bite first and then press the button? Or should I... Wait longer? I don't know. Maybe I should have pressed the button. As soon as you see the exclamation mark. You know, the game, they explain that. They, they gave you an explanation and didn't tell you exactly how it works, though. Anyway, oh, some fish are just getting closer and closer. And closer and closer, just inch by inch. They're taking their sweet time, though. Oh, come on. That didn't work. Okay. I did press the button there, but nothing happened. So maybe I gotta wait longer? Do I just keep waiting for a very long time? Seems to take forever, though. Okay, maybe this time I'll press it just more. Yeah, I mean, I imagine there'd be some kind of confirmation, though. Okay, this time, uh, when I see the exclamation mark, I'll just, I'll just spam the button. Come on. Come on, fish. Fishy, fishy. Oh, nothing happened. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> nothing. This, 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 hmm. This doesn't seem, like, easy to me. Oh! Okay. <laughs> You're spamming the button. Amazing. I caught an Amar Minnow. <laughs> I like how it gets super intense. Okay, so you do have to just wait. Like, sometimes the fish just don't bite, and it just takes forever. I guess that's the only difference. So is that like one of our tickets, I guess? Do we, how do we do we get more tickets? Or do we is it just that? You know, that's the only chance we get or something. You're fishing on. Apparently this changes our dinner options. When we have dinner at the archive or something. Like how's that work, you know? How do we get more fishing tickets? What if I want to get more fishing tickets, you know? I'm gonna fish again. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start fishing again. I wanna try the intermediate spot. Well, I want bigger fish. Like, what's the difference? Is the, the difference just how... Like, it's not really like a real difficulty. It's just like... It's just based on... Pressing the, the button, like, a lot? Is that it? That's the only difference? This one, a bit fast, what the heck? Calling the other one like an easy fishing spot, this is like, way faster. Did I just have like really bad luck the first time? I caught a koi! Amazing. Aquapedia. 
I'm Rimino, freshwater fish that lives in calm waters. Koi, traditionally easy to raise in nearby ponds and well known in the source of legend in many countries. Great as sashimi. Mm. You're fishing on. Let's try the, the, the expert spot. I mean, obviously this reminds me of Harvest Moon. You know, I've learned recently, by the way, Harvest Moon is actually called something else. It's called like, uh, Seasons or something? Stories of Seasons, I think? I never knew that, by the way. But apparently the whole, like, Harvest Moon franchise kinda got reset, apparently, because of legal reasons. Like, at least the English version, anyway. Because the people who own the Harvest Moon IP, um... Are not interested in making good video games apparently they, they I, I can't remember what they did but they, they they did they did something the ip that was like something else completely but the original developers who just wanted to make games you know couldn't use that ip anymore so they, they had to rename their games i think like seasons of stories or what's it called stories of seasons what was it yeah it was called story of seasons or something which is the spiritual successor to the Harvest Moon franchise, but because of the name change, you know, not a lot of people know about it. And that's why more people know about Stardew Valley, I feel, at least for English speaking audience anyway. Which has always annoyed me, by the way, for some reason. I mean, nothing against Stardew Valley, I guess, but people always compare games to Stardew Valley as if it's, you know, as if it's the main one, as if it's the original, but Stardew Valley just took a lot of its elements from Harvest Moon, you know? It's really just, it's Harvest Moon, you know? That's the OG, but nobody remembers Harvest Moon. It's so sad. Everyone forgot about it, especially because, uh, again, apparently, I think, again, one of the main reasons is because the, the franchise got reset and got changed to uh, Seasons of Stories or Stories of Seasons or something like that. Kind of sad. I always wanted to know what the reason was. I guess that's one of the reasons. Like I was wondering, like, why did they never like continue making Harvest Moon? And apparently they did. They just got renamed. Nobody knew, you know? It's crazy. More wild veggies. Hey there, are you here for the snap rally? Finally, it's my chance to give out the Kuchinawa Creek Stamp. But I've waited so long that I want to give it to someone who's truly worthy. So here's a fun quiz for you. Which hand am I holding the Kuchinawa Creek Stamp? How would I freaking know? Right? Correct! Okay, well. It's a 50-50, I guess. Feels like I fulfilled my life's mission. It's hot, so I'm heading home now. Okay. <laughs> You're just a really creepy guy in the in the corner. But apparently your life's purpose was to just to give out a stamp. I imagine you don't get a lot of tourists though in this area. So like I wouldn't wait it for a long time. Waited for years. Oh, let's see. I already talked to you. Uh, can't go to the right. There's nothing in the right. Let's go up. Finally go check out the chicken. When we're done collecting eggs for today. Our chickens are pretty rowdy, so collecting eggs can be tough. If you want some eggs, then come again tomorrow. Ah, oh, we missed... We missed the egg collecting. Oh no. We don't got any gang you don't get any eggs. Guess that's it. Those just some chickens. Alright. 
Let's go. Uh, let's go down, I guess. Can we go down, actually? No, look, we cannot go down, so there's nothing to check. Kitten. Here, have some fish. Kit looks satisfied. Now, did I give the good? Did I give the good fish away? <laughs> you know, I'd rather give the you know the really poor quality fish instead. Uh, the kitten pulls a few sheets of paper out from the box. Hmm? You want me to have this fishing ticket? Wow. Okay, so we got another fishing ticket. Amazing. Hmm. So Kichinawa Creek, Kinabar Pass. So we gotta go to the shrine next. And that's where, uh, what's her face ran to. So we'll probably meet up with her, I guess. But before that, you know, let me just. Hold on, where's the... How many fishing tickets do we have? We have... Oh, we have three more, actually. So, I guess we get, we get like, fishing tickets... Every day? Question mark? Like, how long is this game? You know, it's not like, again, not like Harvest Moon, where there's, like, multiple days. Is there? I imagine you get more fishing tickets when you... After you feed the cat, so maybe the next day you feed the cat even more and get more fishing tickets? I don't know how that works. Um... But screw it, I'm gonna fish some more. <laughs> I wanna get all of the fish. Give me all the fish. I can make this entire lake extinct. Oh mine. I'm making sushi tonight. Oh, it's more than two hours actually. Sure, taking a break. I guess I'll take a break after this. Um. Hmm. Oh, fish has grabbed. <laughs> Suddenly, have to mash like a lot. I got a char. It's three times faster than a normal fish. Is it the fish? Char. Popular mountain stream fish. Also pond louch. Louch? How you pronounce that? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Meow. More than two hours, actually. So I'm going to take a break now, actually. So before we continue, basically just playing Harvest Moon, you know? I mean, I guess there's no planting. We, there's no crops. But it's very similar. But before we continue, um, I guess I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab a snack, go to the washroom. I'll be right back after a few minutes. And I'll continue playing uh, this game. It's just nice and relaxing so far. For the most part. I mean, there was, like, in the very beginning, or at least in Chapter 1, anyway, there was kind of, like, this fake-out horror section. There's not really horror in hindsight. It's just, like, you know, it's, like, they're just tricking you into thinking it's a scary part, but it isn't really. Um, I guess was, I don't know. Like, I think, as far as I understand, like, I read the description and everything, it does get scary later. I don't know how scary. I don't know. I guess it was... <laughs> It's very misleading, I feel like, this game. Um, yeah, well, let me take a break, though. Let me grab a snack with a washer, and I'll be right back after a few minutes. Maybe.
<sighs> All right. Let's continue playing The Forest of the Drizzling Rain, which ironically so far hasn't really taken place in the forest, but I guess we'll see. Um All right, let's just continue. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to spend a million hours doing the fishing mini game. Uh I don't, I don't imagine it affects anything. It's just for the sake of fishing, you know. Unless you get more fishing tickets somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the shrine. Let's head to the shrine, maybe. It's uh, another location. Here we go. Here's Mia. Let me, hold on. Let me just grab this grass real quick and just stuff it in my pockets. <laughs> you know, it's, it's normal things to do. Miko, weren't you going to the archive? Listen, you won't believe it, but I went to the archive... But it was locked again. Then does that mean the caretaker is back? I guess so. But wouldn't you normally go out again? I thought that maybe he left to look for you. So I was gonna find him or die trying, but he didn't seem to be in the village. Uh, not that you mention it. Just earlier, there was a young man looking for a middle school student. So he really was looking for you, huh? Is he your friend? He looked like he was about my age. No way. He's just a trainee teacher at my school. Oh, so he's from your school. That explains why he was looking for you. I really don't like him. He's even worse than my classmates. I heard the village is his hometown, but he always has it out for me. So, don't ever tell that teacher you saw me, okay? Okay, <laughs> you know, I'm just, go I'm, I'm just going along with whatever she says. I don't know... Like, I don't know how much of it is just teenage angst, or is it true that, like, maybe, like, this teacher is, like, treating her poorly? And it could be, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I would have to get both sides of the story, but, uh, if, if her testimony is the only one I've got to go off of, then I guess I'll trust her. Boing. What does that sound? Boing. That's a promise, okay? I promise, I won't. Adults always lie like that, so you better not be. Anyways, I'm gonna hide for a little longer. So, I'll see you. Oh, she's gone. Hm. Alright. I wonder if that boing sound means like I picked the wrong choice or something. I know... This game has multiple endings. I mean, a lot of RPG Maker Horror games tend to have multiple endings. I wonder if those choices matter in the long run. Well, I don't know. I tend to play these kind of games blind the first time. It's definitely going to be in... Well, I was going to say it's going to be annoying. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be annoying. It depends on how the game is structured, I guess. But sometimes, some games are very annoying in terms of getting multiple endings because 
it's like a lot of cascading choices like a choice you got to make from the very beginning so you had to like restart from the very beginning i don't know i guess we'll see wow what a pretty shrine but you know i don't like to spoil myself and look at a walkthrough from the very beginning unless it's like a really short game it's like a super short game maybe i don't know Sometimes I do, I guess, but... But I, I tend to not want to, though. Because otherwise I spoil myself, you know? It's kind of like, oh, you know. I'd rather just experience the story naturally. A cat is happily playing with a stamp string. Probably for the stamp rally. And... Bung! Ta-da! The cat is sure having fun, but the stamp string is falling apart. Azukawa Shrine protects our village from the forest. The area behind the shrine is, has always been considered sacred. None may enter. Perhaps because it has a scary name like the Child Eating Cave. Little kids may not know, but sacred places are usually also the most terrifying. I do find religion scary. I remember I was a kid, you know, I find Christianity, like, very scary. You know, it's a very scary, like, story. I feel like. With a lot of, like, you know, terrifying imagery. <laughs> I don't know. It's still summer festival season. I hope nothing bad happens this year. Our summer festival is small, but it's very important to the village. The village youth organization puts their all into it. It was actually more of a middle-aged organization. So there's a summer festival here, huh? There are fewer and fewer people here now, but the festival season brings some life back. Which is why I really hope it doesn't rain, but you can't control the weather. Well, rainy days are exactly why we have this shrine in the first place. There's nothing we fear more than rainy days in this village. They fear rainy days, I wonder why. You know, I wonder why what's the, the game the title though, the Drizzling Rain. Hmm. Luck. Go in there. You know, I always wonder. You always, I mean, you always see these like religious shrines, like in, in anime, you know, and I guess in real life too. You, know, you, you go to the like the festival or not a festival, you go to a shrine, you know, there's like a donation box, you make a little wish, you like, I mean, depending on, I don't know, I don't know what the proper procedure is, but like, you're supposed to like, you know, uh, ring the bell a little bit or clack the bell, and then you do like a little clap and you pray. You make a wish, something like that. It might depend on the shrine exactly what the procedure is, but I always see those things. I also wonder, like, what's inside the building, you know? I imagine not much. I'm not sure. You never see the insides of those places. I guess it's supposed to be like a sacred place. You're not supposed to go inside. It's just like, I'm assuming maybe some religious objects inside just to store them i'm not sure um it's an old worn out payphone it looks like it's on his last legs hmm. as you can go here orange day lily hmm? never seen you before you don't get youngies like you in the village much so you stand out all we have around here is the river and rice paddies so you want to help us out Move your hands and quit slacking. <laughs> Is that there? No. I guess I guess there's no rice patty mini game where we like help make the rice. Hmm. That road is blocked off. It does look kind of creepy down there. I guess we shouldn't go there. Bog Rhubarb. And stamp. And ink pad. And boop. Amazing. No trespassing. Also, are these graves? They look like graves to me. I'm assuming they are. I'm not sure. We have no interaction points with them though. We can't we can't. Interact with it. Hmm. All 
right. Uh, let's see. Well, let's go back this way, I guess. Oh, never mind, I guess. Well, I mean, there's there's another stamp rally. You know, there should be another stamp you can get from the archive. I was hoping to go there first. I guess never mind. Or wild veggies. Missed that one, I think. Officer Muchizuki. I guess he's looking for Miko. I walked around for quite a bit now. That doctor did say to come see him again, but I wonder why. Hmm. Did I get all the veggies? By the way. Hmm. I don't know. Let me look around. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a, a thing you can complete. Like a, it's an actual side quest. But I have all this wild random vegetables in my pockets. Just full of random plants, you know? I wonder if you can actually hand it in. Oh, here's Mio. What? Oh, it's just, it's just you. You're hiding here now? You can't cross the bridge in the lake on a bicycle. So even if Officer Mochizuki finds me, I can just outrun him. That makes sense. It's quiet here, and the water's pretty, so it's a good hiding spot. You really think so? It's just a regular little fishing hole. In that case... Wanna fish? No. I don't like touching the bait, or getting too close to the water. I should get moving. Staying put for too long is too risky. If you go fishing, then try looking at that sign. No, she doesn't like fishing. She's gone again. But fishing might be a good way, be a good way to relax. I feel like I'm, I'm picking all the wrong decisions. I didn't say swimming because, you know, if you go swimming like right now, it would be inconvenient. You don't have a, you know, like a change of clothes. There he goes. Oh, wow. Miko sure is great at not being caught. Hmm. Let me just look around some more. Any, like, uh, vegetables? Wild vegetables that I missed somewhere? I'm gonna take one more look around just to, just to be safe. Just to be sure I didn't miss anything. It's very important. But an NPC tells me to do something like a whole fetch quest i want to finish the fetch quest even though it probably doesn't give me any kind of tangible reward it's probably gonna be like good job and that's it because like in a, in a typical rpg game like an actual rpg game with like rpg battles you get like an item or something but no this is not like this is this is one of those games where it doesn't have an actual rpg battle system necessarily so doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh, here she is again. Uh, see you again. Why am I not surprised? I could say the same about you, Miko. If I don't keep moving, the other villagers will tell on me. Doesn't wandering around make you stick out more? It's fine. I'm in hiding. It'll be worse if they find me. And aren't you the one who's really sticking out here? Huh, do I? It's a small village. They like to gossip. Gossip? Uh, I guess there's no helping that. Is that how city people think? Must be nice. Not having people on your case all the time. Uh, I'm so tired of hiding. Maybe the archive is open by now. But she ran off. Miko sure has a lot of energy. Hmm? Tired of walking around, eh? Oh, but I have to find veggies. What should I do? I think I'll walk around a little bit more. Let me see. We'll take it easy here. I don't, I don't see any of the, uh, you know, wild veggies to find, to be honest. I don't know where it would be. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just walk around some more. We've kind of just been following Mio. Is there, like, another hiding spot we can find her in? 
She did mention the archive though, so I guess we will head in that direction. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Is there like a place I haven't been to yet? Somehow? I can't I can't go down here. Oh, there she is. Ah, it's you again. Don't you have anything better to do? Is talking to me that fun? Yeah. Hmm, you're weird. What are you hiding? If Officer Mochizuki put you up to this, then don't waste your breath. People like that are seriously annoying. No, it's nothing like that. So, nobody told you to talk to me. Um, about that. Actually, I did speak with Officer Mochizuki, but I'm talking to you because I genuinely want to. You're a really bad liar. You're quite the chatterbox, huh? Sorry, you did say you found that annoying. It's fine, you're not really that annoying. I was just teasing you, so I'm the one who's sorry. Miko is actually quite earnest. Why are you smiling? Oh, nothing. Alright. Maybe we should go check out the archive. Hmm. But we can't though. I can't get that final stamp. I don't understand this paradox of like getting the final stamp, but I can't get the final stamp because I had to move on and finish the whole stamp thing, but like I can't. I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, well, I guess people are getting married later these days. Are you seeing anyone? If not, I can help you find someone. Huh? What's going on? Officer Mushi's okay. There's a cat and dog fighting over there. There are? I better hurry then. Okay. Oh, thank you. Young people take too long to get married these days. Okay. Do you not see, like, the officer, you know, come past this way? I don't know. Huh. Oh, actually, I did miss this one. Another wild veggie. I got a lot of wild veggies. I'll bring them back to the old lady. Oh, okay. I missed the... I didn't know you go back here. What the heck? Uh, also, what's this? Locked up by fence that's about to fall apart. Can I just destroy the fence? Come on. <laughs> Can I just... Do some property damage? It's fine. Alright, so we got all the wild veggies, finally. I guess I just missed that one in particular. Hello, lady. I have all of your... Freaking wild vegetables. Wow, you sure picked a lot. Young people sure do love food. Thanks for the help. Please take this. I got a fishing ticket. You're young, so you should eat fish for dinner instead of wild veggies. You need to eat lots of fish and meat so you can grow up strong. Great. Amazing. We got even more fishing tickets. Uh, I don't know. Should we be using all these fishing tickets? I'm not sure we should be using all these fishing tickets before we move on. Do we have another chance at this? I'm not sure. Because there's one more stamp, but the stamp itself is in Azakawa Village Archives. Can we come back here and do more of this? I don't know. <laughs> but the reward was just more fishing tickets, so... I don't know. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Fishing on. Let's go. Fish. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum. All right. Hmm <laughs> I mean, I guess speaking. Uh, 
uh, or speaking about Harvest Moon, I guess I'll let's let them right. Speaking about speaking to, I don't know. Anyway, the, you know, regarding Harvest Moon and everything, um, I don't know. I just want to mention, like, I did play a little bit of it. It's not really my favorite game genre, though. You know, people uh, tend to love those kind of games. Like Animal Crossing is another one as well. I tried playing those games. And it's okay for like... A few... I guess maybe like a couple hours maybe. But I always get bored of them, I don't know. I get the point that they're supposed to be nice and relaxing and everything. It's kind of like... Sort of like a life sim, but not really. In a way. I don't know. Those type of games, they tend to not have a lot of, uh, I guess, plot, you know, or like conflict. Which again, is kind of the whole point. There's supposed to be like very little conflict in those type of games. But I find it kind of boring because of that, you know? I tend to like games of a little bit more of a story to them, a bit more narrative to them. If it's just like day by day, you just kind of, you know, kind of fish and then you do you get crops and then... You get upgrades, and then you do more of that, but even better. It's kind of like, I don't know. I kind of get bored of it eventually. I want to have some kind of conflict in my video games. Some kind of purpose, some kind of mission. Some kind of obstacle, you know? That's why I like, you know, these kind of type of games. Even though right now it's just fishing, but you know. I prefer some kind of like... Yeah, some kind of like, you know, overall like plot. Well, ironically, I don't really like the ones that um, are just cutscenes, I guess. It's, it's weird, because there's definitely very story-heavy games where... It's practically like a movie, basically. Especially like 3D CG or 3D models or whatever. I tend not to like those type of games, though. I prefer, like... I don't know, I guess it's nostalgia, but like I prefer, like... Where it's like, um... I mean, like this, basically, where it's like, it has dialogue boxes. I feel like but some people might find the opposite, but like, I, I much prefer having dialogue boxes and characters just talking with text boxes. I don't know, for some reason, that's, to me, more appealing to me than if it was like fully voice acted with full, like, rendered cutscenes. I don't know. At least if it's like story focused, and it's like a very narrative heavy type of game. Like, for example, I think of, like, Baldur's Gate 3, you know, one of the playthroughs I did recently. That's basically kind of like that, but that was more of, like, an RPG, though. It's more, like, there's a lot more gameplay. Huh? Oh. Nothing? What do you mean? I got nothing? What? That's BS. I'm gonna continue fishing. I'm just gonna use all these fishing tickets. I guess. How, how did I fail that though? I guess I, I needed to press it a lot faster. The, the confirm button, I'm assuming the confirm button is Z. It's hard to press my left hand. I have to switch to my right hand. Um. Oh yeah, story focus games. You know, something like I find like a common theme when people play video games is escapism, actually. You know, people play games, again, just like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, whatever. I feel like it's, it's that kind of genre where like it's supposed to be nice. And it's like you just kind of do whatever you want <laughs> and get whatever you want, you know, with very little challenge. Or at least less challenge and more like, you know, you just grind all day, kind of like an MMO. And I guess I can see the appeal to that. Because I did play a lot of RuneScape, you know, back in the day. I got eel, by the way. Eel. Eels. Hmm. I've had, uh, eel, uh, sushi before. Pretty okay. Do, 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 do. 
But yeah, escapism in in video games. People prefer that, I guess. That's why people play video games. But personally, I don't really view it that way. I don't know. If it's just escapism, it's like not really appealing to me. It needs that's why I like horror you know, recently anyway, that's why I like horror games. Because there's some kind of like danger or like like obstacle for the characters to overcome. I I've learned you know, like recently, something I learned about myself is that I do prefer when there is some kind of conflict, whether it's that that's a narrative conflict or like a, like a, you know, like a gameplay challenge or whatever. Like I prefer something like that, because otherwise there's no real thing to overcome. If the game doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, you know, basically, then what's the point, right? I don't know. Like I want some kind of conflict. It's, it's ironic because I don't really like conflict in real life. I don't really like conflict even when it's like fake conflict. Like in like, uh, uh I don't know. In like, uh, you know, reality shows or whatever. But I do like it when it's like, a, like a fictional story. I don't know. Like drama, basically. I mean, that's what, I don't know. That's what the genre is called. Drama. Like fictional drama. I like fictional drama. But like not drama that's made to be realistic though. I don't know. Because again, like reality, reality TV shows are kind of like, it's kind of like that, even though it's mostly fake. It feels too real, you know? I don't like it. it makes me uncomfortable. I'm a Japanese char. What's the difference between normal char and Japanese char? Is it like the English dub versus the Japanese dub? You yeah, know. Char and Japanese char. A kind of char. Not that great for a char. How many fishing tickets do I have? I have none. I guess that's it, using all my fishing tickets. And thus, the fishing has irreparably altered the timeline. Because she captured a lot of fish and stuffed it in her pockets. Where else is she gonna- you know, where else is she gonna put the fish, by the way? It's just in her pockets. She puts everything in her pockets. She doesn't have, like, a backpack or a purse or anything. I mean, then again, why would you put, like, fish in your purse? I don't know, that's, that's too big. <laughs> anyway. Alright, I guess we talk to the doctor and say we're done. Mm hmm Gotta work around, eh? Uh, yeah, I've seen everything. No, oh, I see. Well then, take a seat here, little miss. Alright. It's getting cooler, too. Perfect timing. Wow. It's gorgeous. Very orange. As the sun sets into the mountains, its light illuminates the rice fields before me. The gentle breeze gradually cooled, and the sounds of insects transitioned into night. Unconsciously, I took a deep breath and noticed the plants had a different aroma in the evening. I wonder how long has it been since I've felt this way while watching a sunset like this. I had just come to this village, but the scenery somehow still made my chest tighten. Walking around the whole day strangely helped to calm my nerves. Looking back, ever since the funeral, I feel like I've been forcing myself to move on. Mom and Dad, I wonder how they met, how they spent their time together here. And why the two of them decided to leave the village. I realized, it wasn't that feeling of unease driving me, but the desire to learn about them. I'm sure there's still so much more left here that I don't know about yet. Today's sunset is as gorgeous as ever. It really is. I think I feel a bit better now. You're bright and young, but your expression was outright pitch black. Keep that up and you'll start getting wrinkles. Huh, was it that bad? No kidding. You almost look like an old grandpa from the village. Thank you. 
I understand how you feel coming all the way out here. But you only run into a wall if you keep pushing yourself. You need to have a strong heart to be ready to take on what lies in the ahead. A youthful smile better suits a young lass like yourself. I say the same thing to the archive caretaker all the time. Really? Even you must have a thing or two to say after seeing him, no? Well, he honestly is a little intimidating. That man is just impossibly stubborn, even more so than me. But his parents also left this world early on. Is that so? So even the caretaker lost his... Even now, he keeps himself cooped up in that building and almost never leaves. I only see him for his regular checkup. And he often butts heads with Town Hall with how he manages that place. You ought to try and get other people to help him over there. Yeah. Miko. Shiori, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I was just watching the sunset over the rice fields. The sunset? That's like something old people do. Really? How about you, Miko? What's up? What do you mean, what's up? After I saw you, I went back to the archive. But Mr. Caretaker and Officer Mochizuki were just hanging around in there. I couldn't stand it any longer, so I just left. Hmm. You're that little brat, Miyoko. You're, you're in middle school already. You still haven't lost that sure fuse? Yeah, that old quack. Miko, and Doctor, calling her a brat is... Seems about right for a kid that calls people quacks. Shut it, old man. Maybe you try doing some weird experiment on Shiori. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shiori, did you finish shopping? Ah, it's already evening. I have to go to the store. Hey, you, can, you can be quite an airhead, huh? Hold your tongue, child. That's what makes you a brat. <laughs> oh, jeez, you're annoying. I don't know. Shiori, you should hurry up. Mr. Caretaker was super mad. Oh, I've gone and done it now. I should hurry to the store. Um, thank you, Doctor, for showing me this amazing view. Seeing young folks depressed like that doesn't sit right with me. Not fond of all this noise either, so hurry on out of here. Okay, thank you. I need to finish up my shopping and head back fast. Do, 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 do. Time to go shopping. Do we have any money? Do we bring any cash? I don't know. Great, the store is still open. Excuse me. Welcome. Excuse me, are you still open? Oh my, what a pretty little flower you are. Please, please, come on in. Thank you. Um, I'd like to buy this. Oh, yes. My, what a big girl you are. Are you on an errand by yourself? Huh? Uh, um, yes. Oh, my, oh, my. Here are some sweets as a special treat. Uh, thank you very much. But it's very dangerous for children to be out alone, you know. Tell your parents that this old lady's worried, okay? Okay. If you're not careful, you get lost and be all alone. And when that happens, the forest will call for you. Then you'll never be able to return. There used to be a village guardian, you see. So even if something happened, there was hope of being saved. But now, even the guardian has disappeared. The prayer at the annual summer festival is just for show these days. The forest will for sure want a pretty little flower like yourself. Especially on rainy days, you mustn't go outside. Seems like this old lady sees me as a small child. Okay, thank you very much. Do be careful now. Okay. I mean, she is still kind of a child in a way. Again, like, I, I don't know her exact age, but it seems like she's still... She just finished high school, right? And I, It was mentioned that she was still studying for, like, the university graduation or whatever, like, to get into the university. I'm assuming she passed, but she hasn't actually went to university yet. Oh, then again, it is summer break. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. 
I need to reread the intro again. Like, I'm still a little bit confused whether or not she's already in university or she's like right before university. I don't know, anyway. But you know, he's so young. The sun is setting faster than I thought. I should hurry back. Alright, let's go home. And totally not get m super murdered by evil spirits in the village. Don't worry about it. I wonder where the cop went. On patrol. He's still on patrol. Okay. We still never got that final stamp, by the way. You know, it's like, how do you get that final? I don't think you can. Like, it's impossible, right? You can get that final stamp for the stamp rally. Ah, huh, there you are. You're heading back, right? I'll go with you. Huh? It's getting dark, you know. You should be heading home yourself. There's still people on their way home from clubs. Besides, it'd be hard finding the way back yourself, right? But it's fine. You don't need to worry about me. Not to mention I had to run all over the place since the archive was closed. It's only fair that we sneak back in there for a bit. Huh? What? You don't want to? Fine. I'll just go there by myself. Wait, wait, wait. If you're going, I'm coming with you. Miyako has joined the party. Oh, why is there why is there a baby? That little girl is all by herself? Mm. Kids aren't allowed to go near that shrine alone this late. Shuri, let's go after her. Okay. You must save the baby. A tiny baby. So tiny. I mean, compared to, like, our character sprites. She's heading towards the child-eating cave. Don't you know you're not supposed to go there? You get eaten. It's a place that children are never supposed to go. It's in the title. Child-eating cave? Hmm. It looks like the girl got in through that opening. I'm over. Usually nobody's allowed inside here. What is this place? It's not here. Not here. Okay, what are you doing, little child? Little, little one? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, you shouldn't be wandering around alone so late. What? Um, do you know where your family is? Papa, Grandma. Your father and grandmother. They must be worried about you. But I was told to come here. Huh? You're meeting your family here? N nobody from the village would choose to meet up here. And you should never listen to what that voice says. We're leaving now. Where's your home? Uh, I don't know. What? Well, hey, hey, it's okay. Don't cry. I'm sorry. I can't stay in this place. Miko, why you look so pale? I'm getting off of some mochizuki. Don't you dare let that kid out of your sight. Nico was acting strange. Um, can you tell me your name? I'll take you home to your family, okay? I knew. <laughs> okay, how about we at least leave the shrine? Oh, I want to take a look around first. Oh, well. Ayoko! I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? Are you Ayu's father? I haven't seen you around before. Where are you with Ayuko? I, uh... Don't tell me. You're the one who's been dragging Ayuko around, huh? No, it's not like that. Well, then you better have some proof of that. You're an outsider, right? Then what reason would you have to bring Ayuko to this shrine? Hey, calm down. Think about it. She's definitely suspicious. I'm not. Papa, why are you angry? 
Please don't be angry at me and Big Sis. Uh, oh, you're cool. Hey, you. This is all your fault. You're an adult, so you shouldn't push the blame on others like that. Also, your child is crying, so please stop shouting. Why, you... Uh. Now for some Mochizuki. Over here, hurry. Hey, what's going on here? Officer Michizoki and Miko. Huh? Who are the, all these people? I hurried over here because Miko told me there was a lost child. But you all seem a little tense. Mind explaining what's going on? It's just that this girl here was dragging around my missing Ayoko. Huh? All she ever did was find that kid. I was with her the whole time. Isn't it? False accusations. Hey, there's no point arguing about this any longer. Ah. You're from the Yokohata family, right? I see, you're looking for Ayu again. I've told you this many times, but please contact the police if your child goes missing. Just let us know, so we can at least help, okay? I come back to the village and now there's so many outsiders. Hey, that's enough. Ayuko, I'm sorry that Papa got angry. Mm, excuse. My throat is a little dry. <clears throat> <Ooh. clears throat> hmm. All right. Grandma is waiting for us, so let's go home. Okay. Sis, let's play again, gay. <clears throat> my, my, my voice, it's dying. <clears throat> let's try it again. Even though it's just like a funny, silly, you know, voice that I do for like little children. Big Sis, let's play again, okay? Yeah. She's so tiny. She's just like, she, do she doesn't even reach the knee. <laughs> like, she's tiny. What the heck? Is our kids that tiny? I don't know. I I don't know actually. It's like a baby. What's with that guy? He pisses me off. It's his own fault for not taking better care of his kid. Thank you for going to get Officer Mochizoki, Miko. That was the son and grandchild from the Yokohata family just now. They've just recently returned to the village. But their grandchild wanders off and goes missing often. So they're always frantically looking for her. It may be the countryside, but it can still be dangerous for a small child. I keep telling them to notify us, but... You were just looking after Ayu, right? And yet he still treated you so poorly. Yeah. But I'm just glad everything turned out okay. Okay? There's nothing okay about that. Easy there. Anyhow, it's late. You should have it back as well. It's dark, and Kotoro looked furious. I wish I'd give you a lift, but as you can see, I have to deal with this little one first. Huh? What do you mean, little one? I wasn't even in the archive today, let alone after closing time. So I can go home by myself. Miko, are you sure? It's gone quite dark already. I'll be fine by myself, so please get Miko home safely. Not you too. Hey, you're a university student from the city, right? Huh? Oh well, yeah, I guess I am. Then you have one of these, right? Pocket bell. Okay. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pocket bell? A pager? Yeah, I do have one actually. No oh, pagers. That's that's a blast from the past. Okay, then take this and give it to the caretaker. It sucks that he keeps getting mad for no good reason, right? Huh? But isn't this yours? Hey, what are you two up to? 
Nothing. Anyways, my parents forced me to carry one as nothing but a nuisance. But I can't just throw it away either, so give it to the caretaker. It's a win-win. Alright, thank you. Seems like I missed something there. No, it's nothing. Mind your own business, old man. Hey, hey, adults have feelings too, you know. Alright, we got Pager. I was gonna say, yeah, so I, th I guess it is confirmed that she's a university student. You know, I, I just got a little confused with the dialogue in the beginning, but yeah. She's, she just, I'm assuming, entered a university and everything. Sorry, I'm late. I had to buy food and other things on my stay. Okay. He seems angry. Even though he literally said nothing. Literally can't say anything. He's, he's mute. Hmm. I'm starting to get hungry. I'll borrow the kitchen and make myself something to eat. Guess we'll do that. But man, that, uh, the whole incident with Ayu, by the way, is very suspicious. I don't know. What, what did you say earlier? She said, like, her father, her grandfather or something like that? I can't remember. Told her to go there? Very suspicious. Um, I bought some groceries, so can I cook myself something here? Was that? <laughs> you know? Did he make that, by the way? I have a feeling he made that. Sure, uh, sure. Don't burn yourself. Thank you, and Um, I actually caught a ton of fish today. So, do you want to help me eat them all? Please? I can't finish it all. Exactly how many did you catch? I caught a lot. I caught way too many. That's a lot. How did you fit that all in your pockets? <laughs> Isn't it? They barely all fit on the plate. Don't force, your, uh, force yourself to eat them all. You'll get a stomach ache. <laughs> yeah. But I got a strong stomach, so I'll be fine. You're amazing. I'm glad I could cook so much fish. Maybe it can make it fancier tomorrow. So I guess that's the optional scene, I guess, depending on how much fish you catch. Why were you so late today? Miko and I found a lost child on the way back, so... Wait, were you actually... Waiting for me outside this whole time? Anyway, I'm really sorry for being out so late. If I ever go shopping again, I'll be sure to let you know first. Oh, right. Here, this is for you. Miko want you to have it. It's a pager. I have one too, so this way we can get in touch easily. Now if I'm gonna be late, I can just message you. Okay, <laughs> you know, he's like, okay. Does he know, know how to use a pager? Anyone tell, to teach him to use a pager? I mean, I don't even know how to use a pager, to be honest. Like, literally before my time. Huh. He was making kind of a weird face. I mean, I know about pagers, I just never use them myself, you know? And does he cook for himself too? He put something black in the fridge just now. Is that from his dinner? But I wonder what it was. Some sort of local dish? No, I think he's just bad at cooking. <laughs> no use guessing. There's still a lot I don't know about this place. I have to keep looking tomorrow, so I, I should get some rest. Like, if I had to guess, uh, you know, like, if you don't catch any fish at all, if you skip the fishing minigame, that's probably, that was probably your dinner. Like, he, he was, like, he specifically was cooking you dinner. But, like, he doesn't know how to cook, so, like, it's just a weird black sludge that you always see in anime. <laughs> it's, like, probably horrible. Um, anyway. Oh, you are truly so kind. It's been so long since I've been outside that cell. 
I never expected for you to help someone as shameful as me. I wish to spend my last moments where my children are buried. Here we are. A lake. This lake is where many of your children sleep. That's strange. I think I had some kind of dream. When I try to remember it, everything just seems fuzzy. But I feel like I slept well for the first time in a while. It's probably because I walked around the village so much yesterday. But I feel a little bit better today. Alright. I should try asking Kotoro if he can lend me more room keys. So I can snip around even more. Kotoro, give me your keys. Now. So let me check my items. I still, I still have the stamp rally, by the way. It's not done. There's still one more. Where is it? It's like outside. You imagine, you imagine it'd be outside, right? But uh, Maybe. Uh, was there like a little stamp thing outside? I'm not sure. Hmm. Huh? He's not here. Maybe he's eating breakfast. Hmm. Master keys and spare keys are on the shelf. Can I just take it? Can I just take it all? <laughs> you know, don't need to ask permission. Just take it all. Us usurp the owner of this house. Kill him. Hide the body. And, uh, maybe not. Hmm, burning sounds. Um... I know you're cooking, but there's something I wanted to ask. I can't help you. Oh, but it's about the archive. There are a few rooms I haven't been able to look in yet. If it's okay, could you lend me the keys to those rooms? I'm sorry to always ask for favors, but this will help me finish quicker. Oh, that's all I can lend you right now. That's true. You're in the middle of cooking. There's still some stuff left from the previous owners in the third floor room. Thank you. Um, what are you making for breakfast? It looks a little bit like what was in the fridge yesterday. I've never seen this before. Is it a local dish? It's a fried egg. Oh, I see. Are the eggs in Azakawa Village really black like that? <laughs> well, no, they're not. Again, he's just really bad at cooking. A black egg is being fried. It looks rather overcooked. How could you be... How, you can't be this bad at cooking. Can't, I don't know. It's, it's just following instructions. Like, I don't... I don't understand. You know, you can't... I don't know. That's the joke, though, I guess. Like, he's just so bad at cooking, he's just... He doesn't understand that you're not supposed to have just fried for, like, 50 years. He's been cooking that egg forever. Should it be burned by now? Can I ask him about that, actually? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The spare keys are for the kids' room. And the room on the third floor that have been uh, haven't been in yet. He said there was some stuff left there, so I should check that room first. And do we have not do we not have a choice? I kinda just want to check the kids' room first. You know, what if I check the kids' room? What if I defy your suggestion? Okay, fine. But that must for some reason. For some kind of weird plot reason, we have to pick the rooms in the right order. Hmm. Whoa, this room is covered in dust. But if this is all 
if this all if this has all been left untouched i'm sure there's some of mom and dad stuff here somewhere mm -mm. Heck? there's nothing but dust in it huh i think it smells a little bit like mom's cosmetics maybe it's just my imagination no i thought it was like magic or something it's just dust I think it smells like more than just dust. <laughs> this is full of old newspapers. Whoa, that's amazing. Some are from 50 years ago. Really? Was Dad interested in stuff like this? Just dust and stationery. It's just an ordinary stationery, but maybe belong to Mom or Dad. Though I wouldn't know. What's this? It's a really old small box. There's a lock on it. But I don't see the key. What's this? There's a cloth on it. Whoa! It's a loud dust. A white dress. Is it a wedding gown? Oh! Is this mom's? It's so pretty. Hmm. So all that's in this room is that locked box. And mom's wedding dress. But... Even if it's just this much, I'm glad. Since mom and dad got married, and they gave birth to me. Were they happy to have raised me? I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Oh, I still have the spare key to the kids' room. I should take a look in there too. much to be honest. Just learned that she had a wedding dress. I wonder why they just kept it there though. They didn't take it with them? Hmm. Anyway. So this is the kids room. It's kind of cute. Oh there's a stamp by the way. Finally my stamp rally has been completed. This is all that matters. Nothing else matters. That's all of the stamps for the stamp rally! Now bring it to the shop to get a lake. Or, got a lake? No. Bring it to the shop at the lake to get a present. Stamp rally completion reward volume 1. <laughs> volume 1? Is that like a volume 2? Hmm. Alright. There's a bulletin board of Azakawa Village's schedule of events. Wow, there are a lot of events like rice planting and festivals. So the festival's tomorrow. I wonder if it'll be at the shrine. Are these pictures from the festival? They're old and in black and white. It's a photo of people praying at the festival. It's titled The Village Guardian's Prayer. There's a picture of a young man, and it says Kiechiro Kanzaki. So this is a picture of my grandfather when he was young. Then maybe there's a picture of my dad's name on it. Hmm, I don't think there's one here. They're from many different years. Huh? On the bottom there's a warning. This photo belongs to the Azukawa Shrine. Writing on it or removing it is prohibited. If I go to the shrine, maybe I'll find more pictures. I might be able to find out more about my dad. Collection of children's books. One of the books seemed to be a old handmade picture book. Don't go into the forest. Don't go into the village forest. The taking spirit likes children, so it'll eat you if you go in the forest alone. If you're not alone, they'll make you a promise. 
You, your friends, and everyone you know will be put through sadness and pain. So you can't think there's no such thing as spirits. Taking spirit eats things that are precious to you. That's why you can't go into the forest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool drawing of a kid being choked to death and then later to be devoured. Written and illustrated by Kotoro. Oh, Kotoro is the, there's the caretaker. I guess he drew that. That sure is an effective way of keeping kids out of the forest. Did the caretaker draw this when he was a kid? It's weird, but these things feel kind of familiar. What was I doing when I was that age? I can barely remember. I wonder how long has the caretaker been living here? Is someone at the door? Hmm. There's a small bottle with a pebble that glows bluish white inside. That's it. Mm -mm. Hello? Anyone here? It's kind of noise, but there's no one here. Huh? I wonder where this key is. Hmm. Nothing there, I guess. Bam, 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 bam. Oh. I don't know. I can't read that. You know, I... Who's here? Is it the little baby? The little baby. Why is she here? Why is she allowed to just roam outside? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's... Again, like a rural village, you know, back in the day, you know, people would just let their kids just roam around. These days, not so much, especially if you live in the city, you know, that's dangerous. You don't do that, that's crazy. Yeah, big sis. Oh, you, what are you doing here? So I, um, so... What was I gonna say? Are you by yourself? Where's your dad? I walked here all by myself. I see. You came here by yourself. Yeah. And I can't read his writing. Um, I think he's lost. This happened yesterday, too. Big sis, let's play. You promised yesterday. I'll call the police. This, you know, this perpetrator must be arrested. We must arrest the child. Um, huh? Yeah, good idea. Her family must be worried. Hey, what game you wanna play? Uh, you, let's play together until someone comes to get you. <laughs> really? Wow. And then... Uh, what's that face? I don't know, that face looks familiar to me. I don't know, it's just the art style, but like... Hey, what's wrong? Over there. I hear a voice over there. A voice? From outside? I don't hear anything. I gotta go. Oh, you wait! What are you, what are you going? Here we go again. Ooh, I didn't mean to... Stop quitting. I just want to save. 21 saves, by the way. I don't know if I need that many save files, but you know. That's what I always do. To the mountain? Okay. Run, run, run. I'm gonna get myself killed. You know, the, the, you know, in a way, this is, this is realistic. Because children, like, especially very young children, always, always gets themselves in trouble, you know, when... You're not looking, they just, they just like, I don't know, flop around and just, they just, they're just like a, a heat seeking missile for like getting themselves hurt. I feel like, I don't know. What's this rock? The nun may enter Mount Kinobori. Mount Kinobori? I wonder what its name means. Mm 
<coughs> sí es. Well, let's go. I can't reach, I can't get through. Are you? Big sis? You can't just run off like that. Even the sign said you can't go to the mountain. It's dangerous, let's go home. But it's calling me from there. No, it's not. I don't hear anyone. But look, it's right there. There's nothing there. So let's head back. I don't wanna. I wanna go into the spooky forest where I get murdered by demons. Big says it's calling me. Stop. We're just going back to the archive. I don't wanna. Why is why is this child so fast? Are you wait? What? Are you? Kotoro. No, let me go. I wanted to go to the forest. She just keeps saying that. But I don't hear anything from the forest. And this mountain is off limits, isn't it? It's dangerous. But it's calling me. Come on. Kotaro. No, I'm not going home. Wait. Where is he running off to? Hey, what are you doing with Ayuko? Jeez, and I slept so well last night. Huh? What are you mad for? I'm the one who should be mad. Why wouldn't I be mad to see you with my daughter while she's crying? You wanna go? I won't lose to you. All you people without parents are exactly the same. Please calm down. Your daughter's scared and crying. Oh, you, you'll be okay. Mama. I want my mama. Aiko. Hey! Hey, wait, Kotoro. Um, please don't get the wrong idea. Kotoro was with Yayako because she was lost. <laughs> Ayako, Papa, sorry for yelling. Hey, Papa, does that man not have a mama either? Just like me? No, not just like you, Ayoko. You and him aren't... Ayoko? I'm sure you have your reasons. Even though they're really bad reasons. Why do you... Like, I don't know, why, why are you such a horrible father? But anyway, but... Please, be more careful about what you say. Ayoko, let's go home. Grandma's looking for you too. Oh, your, your family's worried about you. I hope I will be okay. First yesterday, now today. I wonder what's going on. Of course she wants to go see her mom. She's even younger than me. I'm sure she's even more lonely too. I should tell Officer Mochizuki about Ayu. And just to be safe, I should go tell her in person. Hmm. Okay, so should go to the police officer first? Yes. So I'm trying to think, um, one of the NPCs mentioned, you know, when they were gossiping about, like, some person co going back to the village. I guess it was them? And I guess it's like, they got, it's like, the mother is gone because they got divorced, I think is the reason. I think is what's happening there. I don't know why he's so neglectful, though. <laughs> why does he keep letting his tiny baby daughter, like, run away from home so easily? I don't understand. 
you gotta put you gotta put that child in handcuffs or something you know or something i don't know um that's officer mochizuki's uh, bicycle maybe he's at the shrine you know you, you gotta put that daughter on a leash or something i don't know it, look drastic measures or you know drastic times call for drastic measures Boy, sir, there's a crack on the stone that wasn't there this morning. That's why we thought it might be someone who's doing the festival preparations. Yeah, we gotta find who did this. Don't get heated up about it. That's why the elders are always so suspicious. So how did the firefighter end up injured? We can have some people going on some witch hunt. You talked about saying that we're all responsible. Then we all got into a scaffold. And did anyone come forward? No, of course no one's gonna come forward. That's how we started saying that it didn't matter who did it. No, you can't just do that. That's why you go into a fight. You foolish youngins, you don't mean to fear the forest. The guardian's gone. And now the stone's cracked? This is a thing to be feared. God save us. God save us. And I'm not I'm not keeping the voices consistent at all. They're like generic NPCs, who cares? Um So there was a fight. I'm glad it's over now. That sounded a little scary. No, oh, it's you. I see. So that's what happened. Sorry I couldn't get to the archive. I was sure Miyako was just up to no good again. Huh? Didn't Kotoro contact you? Oh yeah, but Kotoro's calls are always just silence. But I did think a call during opening hours was strange. Hold on, if that call was in Miyako, where is she? Is Miko missing again? Yeah, she is. If you find her, would you let me know? Yes, of course. Alright, um, alright. I may be able to look around the shrine now. You want to look around the shrine? Yes, actually, there might be pictures of my family in there. I see, that's great. But everyone's kind of on edge now, so you might want to stay uh, steer clear. The door to the main shrine building is locked. Oh, is it? Now what should I do? Well, no one owns this shrine. The villagers take turns managing it. Now, whose turn was it this month? I don't remember which villager has the key right now. I'll look it up later. I'll let you know. Really? Thank you. I'm sure Officer Mochizuki's busy. I should ask around the village, too. By the way, you seem a little more cheerful. Do I really? That makes me feel better. I've only been dealing with grumpy adults since this morning. Ow, that hurts. This is just a little scratch. Don't cry over a disinfectant. You're the one who's crazy for calling me over a wound that just healed itself. Be nice, would ya? This, that's why they all call you a quack. <laughs> why you? Ah, I said to be nice. Okay, same thing. Is this the, well, is this the firefighter or somebody else? I don't know. This may look like a normal shrine, but it is a place to be feared. The village's precious festival has been here held for, here for hundreds of years. They enshrine the protective stone and come to pray to the guardian. But that guardian disappeared a few years back. And now some foolish young person went and cracked the stone. It's such a cursed thing. Terrifying. Huh? The key? I don't know. I don't know about that. They cracked the stone. What do you mean by cracking the stone? I don't know. Meow. It's coming down. Coming, coming down. When it does, it'll make children back into its belly. No, no. He's mumbling something. People aren't even allowed back there. So who on earth did it? I really don't think it could have cracked like that naturally. But I also don't think a person could simply make it a crack like that either. I mean, the stones cracked all the way through. It's kind of creepy. I don't know, they look like... They're the very powerful karate chop. No, oh, this is awful. Of course I know how important the village of folklore is. And I think most villagers really do believe in it. But the elderly villagers are even more frightened of it. The younger people and council members always say you're overreacting, but saying that to the elderly doesn't do much good. They don't listen. That's why I can't just come forward and say I did it. 
If I do, I'll just end up being ostracized. The village folktale is scary too, but that's even scarier to me. Oh, the key? Uh, who was in charge this month again? I don't know. Hmm, did he, well, did he, did he admit to breaking it or did, is he saying that, you know, like, he's saying like, I did it as in like, it's a quote, not like he actually did it. Apparently, yeah, it's been cracked. Hmm. So this is the stone that got cracked, it's a very sacred stone. In the village, there's a terrifying folktale about rainy days. The shrine is here to protect the village from that terror. Most younger villagers don't know, but on rainy days long ago, many people... Uh, no, I, I think I'll stop there. Just talking about it is terrifying. But some young villagers think it happened eons ago. Typical. Young people these days have no sense of fear. The key to the main building? What? Who are you even looking for that? Well, anyway, I didn't need it for today, so I don't know. I heard the sacred stones back here shine a little bit on some rainy nights. But this village never holds a festival in the rain. Villagers hardly even go outside on rainy days in the first place. I doubt most people have ever seen it shine. And now it's cracked too. Not like, like this has ever happened. Oh, the key to the main building? I don't know. I didn't need to use it today. Nobody seems to have it. Large crack in the stone. This crack wasn't here yesterday. Hmm. It's just cursed, I guess. Somebody came here and just... Cracked the stone. It must have been a, a dude with a really giant sword. You know, the first guy I think of is Guts from Berserk. Suddenly came here and just destroyed the stone for fun. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I talked to everybody. It doesn't seem like they, any of them have keys, so... I guess we just leave? Oh, that scared me. Was that my pager? What are you doing? Oh, it might be from Kotaro. Come back to the archive. I wonder if something's wrong. Bring some snacks, too. What? Snacks? He sends some pretty strange messages. But he went out of his way to message me. I should reply to them. Um, I need a payphone to reply. I think it was this way. Oh, is that how that works? I actually don't know how pagers work. I, I have no idea, to be honest. Like, I guess, like, yeah, you send, like, a little message, and, like, it pops up without any, like, indication of who it's from, I guess. It's like a very tiny, like, line of text. I'm not sure. Actually, can I... They're on the bike. It's the bike he rides around. Okay. Nothing special of that. Alright. I should reply to the message. First, I'll say okay. And I should ask... Mm, sure. Uh, sweet? Spicy? I'll send this. I don't know if that matters. It's like, what kind of snack do you want? Now when he responds, I'll know what snacks to get. Alright. So I guess we'll go get snacks. Come on here. You're of age now. Hurry up and marry a good man. Uh, you do this every day. I don't want to. I'll introduce you to someone. I like playing matchmaker. People don't do that anymore. Just you old people from the countryside. But, okay, Grandpa. But if we can't find anyone today, I promise you'll stop. Alright, leave it to me. It's time to match up the final couple of my life. What are you planning on doing about your work at the baddie? Ah, uh, if I slack off, your grandma will get mad. I know. Hey, could you bring some young men around here for us? You're young and cute, so... I'm sure you could, you could, you could easily get the young men in the village to follow you. I entrust this final matchup to you. You must catfish all the young men in this village. Do it now. I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Is it called? Is it catfishing? I'm not sure. Anyway. Because, you know, you know, like you're asking guys out but to, co to go here, but really you're just telling them to marry this woman. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know. You're pestering me every day about getting married, Grandpa. I don't want anyone from this village. If we can't find anyone today, promise you'll stop. Okay, same thing. 
Ishirai River is so beautiful every day. This is the river that was used long ago to wash luminous stones from the mines. That's why it was named Stone Washing River. The mines are back near the forest, but it's been abandoned and is now off limits. Luminous stones are truly sacred, you see, but that village mascot, Lumi Luck. It's cute, but its mere existence is a mere... it's a complete mockery. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Alright. We have a side quest, I guess. A side quest is... Seduce young men. I, I don't know. Do the people of the shrine count? How about you? No? Oh yeah. Try matchmaking! Hey, don't say that. You sound like that old man. Oh, okay. He's not interested. What about you? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Try matchmaking. Yeah, I have a girlfriend in the next village, so no thanks. <laughs> okay. How about you? Okay, I, I, I think I have to talk to everybody. Even the... Even all the extra dialogue that I already read. Oh, uh, oh damn it. Holding the button down. Try matchmaking. I'm getting married soon. She'll get mad if I cheat on her with you. Oh, you're not talking about you? Okay. How about you? I, I think you're an old man, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> you. Blah, 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 blah. But are you looking for a man or something? Sorry, but I'm not really interested in arranged marriage. <laughs> okay. Everyone's just rejecting us. What the heck? I guess we'll just ask around the rest of the village. Oh, I got a response. Sweet. Oh, so he likes sweet things. But since I got a reply, I can buy snacks in the store anytime. And it'll probably progress the main quest. But first, let's, let's, let's look around first. You need any more, like, veggies? You're quite the big eater for a young girl. I can't believe you picked every wild veggie in the village. But a young person like you having a big appetite is a good thing. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> the shrine is too busy today with preparations for the festival. Guess my only choice is to hang out here. Mm, guess that's it. Nothing else. You don't know what thing about fishing. Seriously, nothing amazing like the big Azakawa even exists. The best this place has is a small carp. I'm not joking around. I swear I've seen it. My old master hooked it right in this very spot. You can't prove that. Who's gonna believe that crap? Save that nonsense right after you hook something big. Nah, just because you always catch bigger fish than me. Fine, I'll show you. I'll catch the big Azakawa. But I really have no luck with fishing. Hey, you fish too, don't you? If you catch the big Azakawa, will you let me know? Huh? What's the big Azakawa? How do you not know? It's the biggest fish in this lake. Pulling a big strong fish, that seems impossible with your own rod. There's nothing cooler than that. It's ever fisherman's dream. The master cut the thing all on his own. He was a kid at the time, but he prioritized his dream over homework. But I can't do much if people keep saying that fish doesn't even exist. That's why I need to prove that the big Azakawa exists. I'm counting on you. I sense you got real talent. Okay. I gotta catch the big Azakawa. Today's the day I catch the big Azakawa. Got something. This is it. Uh, well, that's that doll the town hall made, right? You want... You want to get laid? What? Well, I don't have time for that. I gotta catch some fish. 
Okay. Ah, uh, the lake really is a boring place. I thought the biggest Akawa even exists. I've never seen a shell that big. Fishing in the mountain streams might even be more fun than this. There's salmon, trout, but it's hard to catch fish up there. Hey Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, do you wanna... I don't know, get married to like, Nami or whatever? No? Sorry, I'm married. Oh, okay. I mean, probably married to Nami, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Is that the canonical ship? I don't know. I never watched the entirety of One Piece. <laughs> um, this lunch is so good. I'm actually pretty picky about food. This restaurant food is kind of plain, but I really enjoy it. Much making. What? Me? Well, I guess I'll go check it out. I'm pretty picky about both food and people. Fluffier? Why someone like that? Uh, uh, Grandpa, you can't just judge based on looks and first impressions. That's true. I shouldn't judge. Oh, are we saying that? I'm not sure. Um, I see you wandering around the village. What's your job? Uh, my parents own an apartment building in the city. So I'm just enjoying life with the rent we get from tenants. Oh, okay. The landlord is a parasite to society. <laughs> oh my, is that so? How wonderful. Um, I'm sorry, but can I go home now? You're just not my type. <laughs> okay. Well, excuse me. Who wants a freeloader like you anyway? I think I upset her. But I thought it was better than lying. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> okay. I don't know, we can try again, but I don't know if that does anyway. Uh, can I get the reward for my stamps, by the way? Hmm, there are lots of rivers and lakes near us, so we have a rough with floods every year. Oh my, did you complete the stamp rally? You're the first person I've seen completed. I never thought anyone would actually do it. I guess even the town hall has some good ideas sometimes. You're really amazing, though. You actually went all over the village. Here's your reward. I got fishing ticket. Great. Now I get to fish more. <laughs> the stamp rally was actually kind of fun. Amazing. Well, I mean, since we're here... I mean, how do we get the big Asakawa or whatever? Is that like... I mean, you imagine you do it here, right? In this spot? This is a secret spot you can find? I don't know. I guess we'll continue to fish. I wonder if there's a specific thing we need to do. I mean, there's one over there, actually. The big Azakawa is right here. Do we just wait for that one to come closer and catch that one specifically? I don't know. I guess you just have to be patient. But I guess, well, I mean, unless another fish... If another fish takes the bait, you, you can't just let it go, right? You have to actually... Finish the little like tapping mini game. If you don't do it, then I guess you just don't get the fish. So I guess I, I'm assuming it's just luck. I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, it really is just like this. This game so far is really is just. I mean, especially chapter two. <laughs> you know, it's like it's nothing really happens. It's just. I mean, there's a bit of mystery actually. No, I mean there's a bit of mystery, but. For the most part, really, it's just slice of life. Whoa! I mean, I guess we have to capture this one. Japanese carp. Amazing. Hmm. How many fishing tickets do we have? We have two more. Yeah, one of the quests is apparently catching the, the big Ozakawa, but I'm assuming it's just luck. You can't just choose to get the big one. In fact, I don't even see it anymore. It's not on the screen. How do we, like, like a trick to it? I don't know. I can't, I can't move my fishing rod as far as I know. I don't know how that works. You, you, just, you just wait and then you just... Uh, Not that I don't know if it matters. Does it even matter? I don't know. 
Assalamualaikum Parapam parapam pam pam parapam pam parapam pam Starfish. Same old fish though. Again, is there a strategy in this? Hmm. Make one of the fishing spots. Difficulty types of fish depending on the fishing spot. Press X even move a different spot. Once you get a bite, keep pressing confirm to be lit and hmm. Oh, same thing. It's gonna get again. You said to ask for tips, but like, didn't do anything. Hmm. I wonder. Well, do I just? Is it like a random thing? Like, hmm. Like, do I just keep re-rolling the fishy spot until the big one is closer to my line instead? Is that how that works? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure how that works. I guess I don't have to do this, but it's just, I don't know, I'm such a completionist. Bam 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 bam. Hmm. I'd also check out the other fishing spots just to see. Hmm. Oh, big shadow on the bottom left there. Big one, come on, get closer, come on. Stop moving around so much. Just get closer to the bait. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you going? Come on. Come on! No, nope, wrong way. No, I don't want this other fish. No, nope, get out of here. I want the big fish. Can I just like hold this menu until until that big fish gets closer? It keeps going to the right. I don't know if it matters. Do I need to go to the right then or something? Is that how that works? I don't know. Come on. No? Come on. Come on. Get closer. No. It keeps going the different way. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Where is it going? Get in my fishing rod. No. It's not, and now it's just leaving. This is, this is incorrect. Now it's just stuck on the right. Oh, no. It's coming back. No. No, I don't want you. Ah. Fine. As far as I know, there's no way to cancel getting a fish. Once it's bitten the bait, you can't just cancel the fish, though. So. And that's it. That's all the fishing tickets I have, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we will leave. Don't know if there's like a specific trick, maybe? You'd think there'd be some kind of specific trick to get the big fish, but I guess not. I don't know. Oh, that kitten doesn't need any more fish? I was hoping to give more fish to it, to get even more fishing tickets. Uh, da -da. I wish there was a convenience store. I mean, there's one at the next village, it's just so unfair. I'd say next village, but there are two mounds between here and there. Uh, matchmaking? Arrange marriage? I guess I'm making things difficult by liking city girls so much. Yeah, I should give it a try with a girl from this village. Alright. Uh, hello there, today's an auspicious day. Hmm, I'm not so sure. You try and act young, but you're pretty old, aren't you? I don't want a man who's too old. <laughs> hey! Well, why not? Age is important. You're right. I'll just go then. Sorry. I prefer someone cuter and fluffier. The type you want to take care of. That's funny. Because we did that with the other guy, but... He's, he's not really into it. Huh? 
gossiping ladies. What are you up to? Tim, how about the food stuff for the festival this year? Well, I think we already decided what the main style will be. Well, my husband was hospitalized yesterday. Really? Sorry to hear that. But now who will be our cook this year? We're all busy ourselves and my husband can't cook. Right, not to mention there aren't many women helping either. Are there any other men in the village who are good at cooking? While you eat wrapping, you have time for that, then find a man from the village who can cook. Really? You'll find someone for us? Well then, please find us three potential cooks. Then we'll interview them all. So make sure to bring us good candidates. Oh my god, it's so... So much of these dumb side quests, but okay. Sure. Are you good at cooking? Okay, this is the real thing. This is a shine, but we'll see if it doesn't shine. I'll give you a discount. Oh, I fell asleep. I was sure about when I was a jeweler. Can you cook? What a chef for a food stall. Yeah, I can make some pretty fancy dishes. I wouldn't mind making a special dish for everyone. Okay, then I'll go see those ladies later. Good. What about you? The service here is called Kuchi, uh, Kuchinawa Creek. Any idea what Kuchinawa means? Apparently it means snake. Or they name a normal small river like this one after a snake. You wanna be a chef? Ah, uh, sorry, I'm not so good at cooking. Okay. Hello? Oh my, me, is that you? Huh? It's been so long, I'm glad you look well. But I'm so sorry, but I'm about to go to the clinic. No, oh, where was I going again? Oh, um, you were going to the clinic. Oh, yes, that's right, that's right, thank you. Oh, me, it's been so long. I'll take you to the clinic. Oh, me, you're so sweet. Okay, then, let's go. Grandma has joined the party. But first, can I go to the chicken place? Listen to this! Our chickens laid a rare kind of egg today. This doesn't happen every day, so we'd like to care for some eggs? Sure. Maybe it's those black eggs I saw this morning. Sure, I was just about to let the chickens out. Oh, and they all left. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! The chickens got excited and ran away! I guess they're scared of you since you're a stranger. Huh? Scared enough to jump over a fence? Could you please get our chickens back? These old legs aren't up for chasing them down. There are seven adult chickens and one chick, so eight total to the catch. I'll collect the eggs while you take care of that. Oh my god. There's so many, like, side quests all at once. There's so many. Uh, I guess I'll do them all. I mean, I, I, they're not really important to the plot, but like, I mean, I guess I'll do it. Chicken. Hot chicken. Amazing. Now, while I have grandma in tow, in tow, in tow, in tow, in tow, by the way. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You want to be a chef? I'm not good at cooking. But are you sure you don't mind taking me? A girl your age would rather go play somewhere, right? This time she thinks I'm a kid. Of course it's okay. Well, if you want to play, you can go do that first. Granny can play with you too if you want. We can play tag, go fishing, or whatever else you want. You're so kind. When I want to play, I'll come straight to you. Please do, there's no need to rush. What is your... Fishing? I don't have any more fishing tickets though. I don't have chicken. I don't. I don't have fishing tickets. Hmm. Mm. You want to be a chef? Ah, I wouldn't be in a yo. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Well, we have grandma. I guess I'm just gonna bring her all around. You want to be a chef? 
That's a day with Vessel, so I'll be busy. Oh. Alright, I gotta go through all this dialogue for everybody again. Just to ask them, you know, I kinda, I do kind of wish it was less tedious. Not to, like, repeat so much dialogue. Okay, Chef? Nope, too busy. Hmm. Well, I imagine everybody would be too busy, right? I want to check just in case, in case someone's like, actually, I'll be free then. Or whatever. So I gotta check. Uh, recruit chef? Uh, I don't think I got an enemy. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Want to be a chef? I can only do physical labor. Mm, you guys are useless. Well, I mean, not completely useless, but you know, useless to me finishing my side quests. Want to be a chef? Oh yes, if I'm in charge of the food store, I won't have to prepare the shrine. Please, let me do it. I'll figure out something for the food. Great. So there was a person, you know? And I don't imagine these two will have the option to actually be a chef. Or, you know, probably will say no to being a chef, but I'll have to check anyways. Just in case. Now I'll be busy. Okay. Yada 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 Mmm, chef? Go king! Well, maybe we're just the noodles. Oh. That's a no then. <laughs> Chicken! Bring him back here, sir! Mmm, how about Oh, you're you are not a man. <laughs> so apparently the quest, you know, both both quests involve talking to men instead. How about grandpa? Do you wanna be a festival chef somehow? No, I just eat the food my mother or wife makes. Okay. Lake. Can you cook? Hmm, a food stall chef. Well, sure, why not? I'm the only one with refined taste in this area anyway. Great, there you go. Alright, we will now begin the interview to determine the best candidate for a food stall chef. I'll ask question number one. How are your cooking skills? I'll go first. On my days off, I make a beef stroganoff or homemade soba for my family. Recently, I simmered a beef stroganoff for 8 hours. I'm next. I don't look it, but I'm a foodie. When I go to the city, I go to all the places in the magazines. As for my taste, I know I won't lose anyone. Well, I live alone, so I'm not interested in cooking at all. I use vegetables I get from my neighbors to cook random sauces. And boil leftovers to eat with a sauce. That's about it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Question number two. Would you mind telling me how your sink looks like when you're done? Well, the kitchen gets dirty from all the scattered onion peelings. When I'm done cooking, I just close the door so no one can see. <laughs> what? When you put a look of effort into cooking, of course you want to feel fancy eating it too. Hmm? What's a sink? I don't even like housework. So I always clean up and do the dishes while I'm cooking. It's a pain. I put veggies on rice, keep everything on one plate. I'm a bit lazy. So who do you think is best for the festival chef? Um Probably the man for the photo studio. The man in the work clothes. He says he's not good at cooking and all that, but you know. Maybe he's just, he's more practical, you know, he's like, the man in the middle is good at cooking, but he might take too long to, like, cook all the, all the food. The one on the left is much more practical. The one on the right doesn't know how to cook at all, so I don't know, he's not an option. I don't know, I guess I'll choose the middle. Oh no, do you have to think of the stall. You can't have him simmering something for eight hours at the busy food stall. At least all the cleaning for after. 
Therefore, the chef will be the man to work clothes. Oh, okay. I mean, that's what I thought too, but still. Flavor is important, but for a food stall, turn over and efficiency are what matter. We definitely need someone who can clean up while cooking. All right, now I don't go to now I don't go. Now I don't have to go through anything scary. Phew. Now we have the stall all figured out. I thank you so much for gathering chef candidates for us. I guess Mandeville's really do prefer young girls in the city. Oh, before I forget, I think this is a token of our gratitude. More fishing tickets. Amazing. Great. Cool. Now, if I take Grandma fishing, will it get, increase my chances to you know, get the freaking big Azakawa or whatever? Chicken. Get here. Get here. Get here. Want to try? Granny will watch you. Yes, watch me, Grandmother. Ah, yes, that's right. Granny has a piece of, spe of this special bait. If you use it, you can catch some rare fish. I'll let you have it, young lady. Wow, thank you. Granny's super secret fishing bait obtained! Holy macaroni! <laughs> uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss it. I caught big as a goa. Okay, so that's how you do it. You literally do have to bring grandma with you. You're amazing. That's so big, it may as well be called the big as a goa. That's crazy. I don't think there were even fish that big in this lake. Oh my, you certainly caught a nice fish. How about that? Just like I said, right? That is pretty amazing. I should be fishing more seriously here too. I'm just sad I wasn't the one to catch it. Yeah, I bet. What are you talking like that for? Huh? Well, I admit that the big Azakawa really did exist. The one that caught it was his girl, wasn't it? It's true. That makes our race a draw. We could get better at fishing so we don't lose this girl. This random anime girl. He's right. You're the one who's amazing for catching the big Azakawa. You really got a knack of fishing. You remind me of our old master. Our master and now you. Now I have another fisherman to look up to. We'll catch the big Azakawa someday too. Here, take this as a thanks for motivating us. Fishing ticket. The reward is to is more fishing. The older fishermen sure had a lot of motivation. Alright, time to return the big Azakawa to the lake. Aw oh man, no big No big sashimi dinner. What a sweet girl. I put the big Azakawa back in the water and sound away frantically. And we we eat all the other fish, but not this big fish apparently. For some reason ethically we're not eating this giant fish. I don't know. It's a lot of meat though. Oh well, there you go. I wonder what else we can do with grandma, you know? Is there any other things grandma unlocks with for special grandma skills? I don't know. Fight the big eater. Okay, same same dialogue. Same dialogue. Hmm. Chicken. Grab grab chicken. Grab grab it. Give me that chicken. Give me that chicken. Chicken. No, nope, I don't want to talk to you. I got all the chickens. Yeah. So that's why you brought that old lady here. She's really starting to lose it. She doesn't even need to, but she comes here every day. Oh, I see. Still, if she gets lost, it'll be my problem. Oh my, what an adorable young lady. Oh, don't do that. She's the one who brought you here. Oh, that's right. She did. Thank you. I'll give you some candy in return. Don't forget to share now. I got a lot of blue heart candy. Wow, they're so pretty. Thank you. These candies are the same color as the stones that used to be mined in the village. 
Oh, the Luminous Stones. That's them. You should know a lot for someone so young. Don't try eating the real thing. Just hold on to them tightly. But you shouldn't look at them for too long either. Don't forget that. Ma'am, just let the girl go home. Oh, sorry. You just look so much like me. I... It's okay. Now let me on my way then. Okay, thanks. You look a little better than yesterday. What are you planning on doing today? I found a place connected to my dad, so I went. Uh, I want to go there. Did you now? You don't have to rush it so much. Well, I guess walking around is better than staying cooped up in the archive. Yes, I think so too. Oh, that's right. Do you know who has the key to the shrine right now? Oh, no, I can't say that I do. Okay. I didn't buy any snacks, but I did get some candy. They really are beautiful blue candies. Candy's a snack too, so I think Kotoro will eat them. I hurried back as fast as I could. I'm sure everyone's waiting. Wait, hold on, wait. No, hold on, I'm not done yet. I didn't do the other side quest yet. Hold on, hold on. Let me just reload real quick. I didn't realize that was... Oh, hold on. Let me watch it. Let me make a save so I can, like, reload back here. So I'm gonna go through the dialogue again. Oh, no, but then I do have... To, I have to go through the dialogue anyway. Never mind. Because I have to, like, you know... Do that. Uh, oh, wait. But this is before... Wait. This is before I got the grandma, I think? I don't know when this is, when this, uh, is there like a thing where you keep track of my, my, ah, I don't know, when did I save? I don't remember. Did that make a save? Hmm, this is annoying. I, 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 I didn't realize, because I thought the whole grandma thing was a side quest. So I had to do everything all over again, seriously? Oh my god. I kind of don't want to. Mm. And the chickens again. I didn't have in the old chicken thing. Alright, well, I don't know. Oh. Mm -mm. You know, I guess what I'll do, I'll do the chicken thing, I guess. I'll do the chickens. I just want to get that cutscene, I guess. Nothing that matters. These are your side quests. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't realize. I remember the game does warn you. I remember the game warned you about uh, in the past or the first day, anyway. That uh, we sh I shouldn't continue with until I get all the wild veggies or whatever, right? I remember she said her saying that. So she said that before. But um. What? She didn't say that about the grandma. I thought, to be honest, I thought the grandma was a side quest. <laughs> you know, like I thought it was gonna, like a side quest. I forget. I forgot that the original thing was to get like snacks from the store. I didn't realize. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. What about you? Oh, oops. <laughs> sure. I guess for the chef thing, I know who is who now. Did you try matchmaking before you? I know. I also never. Yeah, I never finished the whole matchmaking thing as well. 
I actually don't know who to talk to, actually. Who would be the match that we're supposed to be making? I have no idea. Because I tried everybody already, it seems like. Da -da 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 -da. I can... Any chickens in here? I know there's you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I didn't make a save. I thought I made a save. I'm I'm usually saving like every five seconds. But one time, I didn't make a proper save. It's my it, it was my downfall. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm probably gonna finish soon. But I just want—I don't know—I just want to finish the side quests before I, I finish the session. Uh, okay. Well, let's, let's give the chickens back. Oh, thank you. We got our chickens back. Here, these eggs are for you. There's some rare ones in there today. Boil them to eat while they're still fresh. Wow, those are the black eggs I saw. Can't wait to try them. He's like, huh? What do you mean by that? They tasted great, but they're normal color? Of course there are. Black eggs would be terrifying. When I said rare, I meant that they were big. Aren't you a little too adventurous? Here, I'll give you this too. Fishing tickets. The lake has some interesting fish. Go catch some for dinner. Okay. Amazing. Hmm. We also need to recruit... guy, I think. <laughs> That's probably where we saw already. I'm just skipping it. I don't know, like, I don't need to do this, but like, I feel like since I missed it, I have to reload and do it. Properly. It doesn't feel right, then I'll do all the side quests before I move on to the next section, okay? Who do you think is the best? Okay, uh, I mean, I might as well choose the right option this time, I guess. Oh yes, we're thinking of the same person. It's this guy. Um, ba -dum, um, um, um. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, in this save, we already did the matchmaking with him. I guess that's it. Um... Who else must we matchmake? There really isn't anyone we can find, I feel like. I don't know. Let's uh, talk to Grandma again. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is maybe... Well, I don't know. Like, talk with somebody with the Grandma? <laughs> Somehow that would like affect the quest somehow? I'm not sure. This is very important. I need to finish the quest somehow. Sometimes though, I guess the quest you can't complete it until you... 
until like the next day somehow maybe it's made fluffy oh, what about this cat yeah okay well i haven't yeah i haven't <laughs> i was thinking so the matchmaker or the, you know the person who wants to be matchmaked or doesn't really want to be matchmaked but is going to be matchmaked wants something that is fluffy and to take care of so what about this cat would you like to marry this cat what that's a cat you gotta bring a real suitor how did you know this one's so cute yes i'm sure it's exactly what i'm looking for right now hey wait that means the matchmaking is complete thank you for bringing him we'll be happy together I'm not really sure how I feel, but just look how happy she is. Thanks for your help. Here's a little something for me. Fishing ticket. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's the end. That's the solution. It was a cat. And thus, she marries a cat. A cat is fine too. I guess. I don't know. Okay, I already got that. Actually, I want to... I don't know. Is there any extra dialogue involving the cat? Let me just check real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Are we happy with this cat? A small, cute guy to take care of. He's exactly what I was looking for. He's so cute. What should I name him? When I look at his fluffy body, I forget all about men. Who cares? Just simply adopt cat. Hey, this is really okay. Well, I guess this might be what makes girls these days happy. No need for men. Simply adopt cat. Based. Um, let's see. I guess we'll do the thing again involving the bait. You know, it's a repeat. I guess we'll just do it again. We'll simply do it again. Super secret bait. Huh? The big Azakawa. I wonder, do they put that in the Aquapedia, whatever? I don't know. It's dialogue. Um, um. You know, what does this uh, main character remind me of? It kind of reminds me of a little bit. What's that game? I never played it, but I heard about it. I think it's like Alchemist thing. It's like, a, you know, anime girl Alchemist game. I think it was also an RPG, but like one of the features i guess when the gimmicks well, not really gimmick but like when the main focuses of the game was like crafting you know or something something like that i don't know it just reminds me of her i think it's just the shorts i don't know um all right guys that's it A bunch of fishing tickets though. Do I need to use the fishing tickets? I don't know. I guess we'll catch a extra fish. Why not? One more fish. I'll catch one more fish. I imagine the more fish you catch, the the cutscene changes again. Maybe there's another dinner scene. Why happens if you use all 11 fishing tickets? Is there like a specific scheme that happens if you do that? If you somehow just use all the tickets in one day? Like you can save the tickets as well maybe. Is that how that works? I don't know. Oh, here's the big Azakawa again. But yeah, I'm probably gonna just fish finish up soon. Should I just do one more scene maybe after the whole grandma thing? I guess so. I mean, this game, again, it's not super long, but it does. it's going to require more than one stream anyway. So maybe I shouldn't rush it, but... 
But really, you're not interested? Come on. Let's take the bait. Let's take the bait. Come on. No? It's gonna go back and forth, over and over again. And now it takes the bait, you're just... Not interested, but now you are. On Loach. Same fish. Does it count if I catch the same fish over and over again? I don't know. Brooktail Bullhead. Japanese Carp. Big Azakawa. Oh, we did technically have it in Aquapedia. The Trout, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's make a save. This is funny, it's funny. Grandma is in our party. He's in our save file. Amazing. Alright, we'll just go through the scene again. This time though, I did all the side quests. So there's that. That's the only difference. <laughs> but yeah, I did, I did not expect that the game would just teleport you here. I didn't realize that was the end of the section. That's why I reloaded. Let's make that save. Alright, well let's just, yeah, let's just continue the story a little bit more. Hello? Kotaro? Um, that last girl made it home safely. And I got your message on my pager, but... I couldn't buy any sweets. I was giving some candy, though. Are these okay with you? Oh, is candy not what you wanted? What are you talking about? Huh? But you messaged me to... It said come back to the archive, didn't it? Miko, so you were in the archive. I'm the one who sent the pager message. Huh? The caretaker doesn't even know how to use a pager. So I sent that as an example when I was teaching him. Okay, I was wondering, like he didn't know, yeah, he didn't know how to use in the pager at all. So that's why you were making such a strange face. Then, Miko, did you need something from me? Not really. I was just wondering what you were wandering around for. Oh, Miko, do you want some sweets? Why don't you and the caretaker just eat them yourselves? Okay, <laughs> why? What's wrong with her? She's gone. What have you been doing in the village since yesterday? Oh, yeah. I wanted to find information about my parents outside the archive. Don't do anything that makes you stand out. I didn't plan on doing anything like that. I can't have your presence causing rumors. You manage this place, right? Do you know anything about my parents? Nothing. I really feel like you don't trust me. But I don't understand why you ban things without telling me why. I'm sure you don't want to, but I want you to tell me why. I said no! Nico? Who's she arguing with? Miyako, you're skipping school again. Come on, let's go back. No. <sighs> hey, do you know why you're not fitting in at school? Your classmates tell me you always say weird things. I hear voices. I don't want to go that way. Are you saying you see ghosts or something? I guess kids do have phases like this growing up. 
but you should stop being weird and try to fit in with the other kids. Just stop, simply stop being weird, idiot. Why do I have to hear things like that from my teacher? I don't even care about being friends with the kids at school. Then you have to study hard like me and get to a school in the city. So all the more reason for you to go back to school. Or would you rather the kids at school keep treating you like the weird girl? I don't know. I just assume he's, he's, I just assume his tone of voice is just scummy. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he's supposed to be meaning well or is he just like a bad teacher? Like he's not very good at his job. Um, you're from the school, right? I don't think that's a very nice thing to say. Hiyori? It's you. From yesterday. I see. So you and Miyako know each other. Miyako, a middle school student, should have older friends like this. Wait, you're not from the village, are you? Well, if it isn't Kotoro. You're still the caretaker of this place. I see. Still not speaking, huh? Miyako, I don't want this place to be a bad influence on you. It won't just be school. You won't fit in anywhere in Azakawa Village. So, what's the big deal about that? You really don't get it. If something happens to you, or if, if, if something happens to a person like you in this village, nobody will help you. They'll just abandon you. You'll be treated like an outcast for the rest of your life. Just like the caretaker here. What? Now, do you understand, Miyako? So just stop this. Oh, Miyako. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Uh, Officer Michizoki, this guy's being a creep. <laughs> he sucks. No, um, what's going on here? I'm getting some bad vibes. Oh, sorry. I'm a trainee teacher at Miyako's school. I came to bring her back. All of you, just stop. Why do you insist on crawling around me like some leeches? I don't get it. Why can't you just let me be? Miko. Miko. Hey, Kotoro, what are you trying to do? Um, I'm sure you're worried about Miko, but being forceful like this won't get through to her. Excuse me? This has nothing to do with you. Kotoro, you get it, right? She needs to face reality and shape up before it's too late. <laughs> She's in middle school, for God's sake. It's funny. I don't know. People treating her like she needs to be an adult already, as if she's in the last year of high school. Because I feel like in the last year of high school, that's, I don't know, maybe the culture is different. But like last year of high school, yeah, I kind of get it. Like you should be thinking about your future. But like she's in middle school. She's like a little baby kid in my eyes anyway. Like, I don't know. Like she's still allowed to be a child because she is a child. Like in middle school, you're like, I don't know. Again, I can only speak from my experience. But like when you're in middle school, you're still a child. I don't know. You barely know anything. Uh, pardon me, you're the trainee teacher, right? Yes. I received word from Miko's parents. They said to bring her home if she was found. Her parents told you that. Yes, and as a trainee teacher, I'm sure you're very busy too. I'll take over from here. Did you let the school know? Uh, Alright, I understand. Alright. Hey, you. Yes? You shouldn't get too involved in this village. Look at his face. Like, why? He's making the Shinji face, you know? And not Shinji. Whenever I say Shinji, people always assume it's Neon Genesis Evangelion Shinji. I'm talking about Shinji, the, 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 the asshole Shinji from Fate Stay Night, you know? Anyway. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't get too get involved in this village. It's already gone around that you took Ayako out. Smug ass mother. Anyway, um. Sorry. I couldn't just stand by and watch. I had to say something. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I couldn't keep quiet about the teacher's attitude either. He was the one causing trouble for you two. No, it's fine. And you tried to help too, Kotoro. Thanks. Anyways, things seem to have calmed down, but. 
It looks like Miyako has run off again. I thought she'd listen to me if I tried to talk to her. Then I'll look for her. I don't want to leave her like that. Thanks. I know you're busy too. Third floor balcony. Okay. Got it. Thanks, Kotaro. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna have a bit of uh, girl talk? I don't know. With uh, Miyoko. And we'll continue from there. But for now, um, it's been more, it's almost five hours. So I'm going to stop here, actually. I'm gonna save. And yeah, I will stop here. Let me just leave it like this. Uh, 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 so that'll be for today. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just press the button. Inter interesting game so far. You know, it's like a, it's a little mystery, a little bit of drama. N not really any spooky parts, though. Again, the very, very short section in chapter one where you're like walking around the dark house, I guess. But that's kind of it. It wasn't really that scary. Like, I don't know. I, feel, I don't know. I, I, I guess maybe because I'm very desensitized to horror games, though. Place, I don't know. I feel like in the beginning, like a few years ago, even. I was very, mm, how do you say? Very uh, apprehensive. Is that the right word? I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I wasn't really into playing a lot of horror games, to be honest. You know, I was kind of like, eh. They kind of creeped me out, <laughs> you know, actually. But then I just started to get into stories. I mean, I, I've known about horror games for a while, especially like RPG Maker horror games. I, I like them, but they kind of scare me, actually. The more I play, though, the more desensitized I feel about these type of games. And it's like, I don't know. They don't scare me as much anymore. It's like too much of them. So I just got used to them, I guess. Something that I didn't think I, w I would I would be. So. But yeah, the, the only, again, the only spooky part was a little bit in the beginning, but it wasn't that spooky. Again, it was, you know, even in hindsight, it was just like, I already kind of knew it was like a fake out. Fake out scare. I guess I'll see. I mean, it's, you know. Scary parts isn't necessarily the reason why I play these horror games as well. I do kind of like the, the drama and everything and the mystery. So I'm still into it. It's just, I don't know. The game is advertised as horror. So it doesn't seem to be any horror. It's a very slow burn. Maybe in the original. I, I think the original was a lot shorter as well. Didn't have as much like this filler, I guess. But they did add, I, it seems like they add a lot of like side stuff, you know, which again, it, it is optional. But I ended up doing all of it anyway. I don't know. It's just the gamer in me, you know. I just got—I got to do everything, even though I don't need to. And sometimes, to the detriment of my like enjoyment of the game, like it kind of slows down the pacing. Like maybe a little too much. I don't know. So I don't know how I feel about it. No oh, well. I guess we'll see. Uh, just looking at the store page, you know. It's, apparently, it's, again, there's a lot of different endings. There's apparently bad endings. Like, how do you get like a bad ending? Like, like do we? get to the point where there's like actual danger because yeah it doesn't feel like that you know and i wonder how many chapters there are i don't know the the, the store page just kind of mentions like i think an expansion in the second chapter right it says a second chapter has been added in the middle during which you can freely walk around the map of beautiful azakawa village you know blah 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 do mini games fishing hmm. i don't know when it says like it says middle, so second chapter apparently is middle. So I'm assuming third chapter is the end. Maybe close to the end. Maybe there's like chapter four. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway. But yeah, again, so far it's just kind of slow. But I'm I don't know. I'm looking forward to what happens. You know what the actual like meat of the game is. I guess we'll see. Anyway, that'll be it for today. Let me just say my typical schedule is. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, around noon Eastern time, you know, afternoon. And, uh, you know, we'll probably just continue playing this game tomorrow as well and see what the rest of the game is like. So there you go. I guess uh, thanks for watching. See you around.